And hi everybody, Dick Harlan with the Frazo Crusaders in town to take on the Drake Bulldogs, the top team in the Pioneer Football League. With us, Coach Tom Horn of the Valparaiso Crusaders. Unusual year for you so far, Coach. You're 3-0 and on the road, but you're 0-2 here at home. Yeah, we, we talked about riding the kids around in the morning for a couple hours on a bus <laughs> and, then, and then unloading them here and play, to play the game because we're doing very well on the road. Today you get Drake. Drake is leading the conference right now. They're 4-1-1 one overall. They're undefeated in conference play. Uh, it's not going to get any easier for you. No, it's not. Uh, Drake's a very good team. We've got Evansville next week and Dayton the following week, so we've got our three final conference games right back-to-back -back here. And if we want a shot at Kyra's Tower, we have to win all three of those football games. Your problem, it's no secret, has been defensively. Your offense has played well in most of your ball games. Uh, any changes that we're going to see today against Drake? What are you going to have to do against them? Well, Adam Slavinsky can't play today. He's got an uh, infection in his leg, and they won't let him play and back football, come back to football until next Tuesday. Uh, Eric Miller's still got a bad foot, so he's going to be in and out. So it's, it's not good news for our defense. We're, uh, John Wrench, a freshman starting on defensive end. Uh, we've got three freshmen starting on defense right now. So um, we're, we're a little susceptible there experience-wise. Uh, they're good athletes, they're good football players, uh, but they're freshmen. Nick Browder has had a tremendous year on the road in your three ball games. Hasn't done that well here at home. He needs a big day today. Uh, most definitely. He's kind of the, the thing. He's the, uh, the cook that stirs the pot, so to speak, with our offense. And when he's playing well, our offensive line's been playing well uh, all year. And when he's playing well and, and uh, making good decisions out there, we do very well offensively. You hate to see a change made because of an injury, but when you had to change fullbacks a couple of games ago, Bob Cracknell's come in and really played well for you in the two ball games he started. Well, you know, Bob... He's from Los Angeles, California. He had 17 yards, some yards rushing his senior in high school, so we knew he was a talented athlete. Uh, this is a matter of learning our system and, and getting experience. And Nate's injury allowed him to get experience quicker, and he's uh, taken the ball and run with it very well. Well, it's going to be a big one for you today, Coach. Let's hope we get that first home victory and get uh, get up there in the top of the, of the conference. Yeah, we need to get out here and, and protect our own turf and uh, not, you know, not let people come into our backyard and dictate what's going on. So we're going to try and come out here and, and see what we can do today. Okay, best of luck, Coach. Okay, thanks, Dick. Coach Tom Horn of the Valparaiso Crusaders back with Bill Cook right after we take this timeout. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. And back we are, and good afternoon, everybody. Dick Harlan with Bill Cook now as we are... Uh Atop the press box, or not atop the press box, in the press box, of course, uh, Bill, the former Valparaiso University uh, head football coach, and is always with us on these uh, telecasts of Valparaiso University football. And, Coach, what an interesting team we have this year, it seems like. They go on the road, they win three in a row, they score over 40 points, they come home and they uh, score 18 points in two games and lose two of them. That's uh, almost uh, unbelievable. You usually win your games at home and have trouble on the road. That's right. He's got it mixed up. You want to please the alumni, you got to win at home. <laughs> but Tom said that this year they're, they're, they're thinking about putting them on a bus and riding them around for a couple hours and bringing them back and say, this is a, an away game. <laughs> well, I never thought about that, but that's a good idea. Anything that works. Well, the Crusaders against Drake. Drake atop the conference right now. They're 4-1-1 one one on the season, 2-0 and oh in conference play. A good, solid football team. And I guess there's no secret Tom knows it and, uh, and, and mentioned it when we were doing our interview earlier. Crusaders are going to have to play defense against this team. This is a team that uh, that is as good as their record. There's no doubt about it. They're, they're a strong team. They're good defensively. They're good offensively. Offensively, they've got a balanced attack with a good running game and a good passing game. As you mentioned, their quarterback last year had an outstanding game against us, and uh, we're hoping that he doesn't have repeat the performance of last year. Well, last year, Lori Fletcher hit on 20 out of 28 passes, 276 yards, and two touchdowns. When you look at these two teams in the conference on offense, we have today the second and third rating rated uh, offenses in the conference. Valparaiso averaging just under 380 yards a game. Drake averaging just over 355 yards a game. So second and third in the conference in that category. When you go to defense, that's where you see the, the change. Drake with the second best defense in the conference, Valparaiso last. And there's your there's your story of the difference in these two teams right now. Yeah, that's right. And the thing about it with our offense that shows at the same time is that we're doing so well offensively without having the ball as much as we had it last year because the defense is you know turning it over quickly. So we're doing a great job there. 
We started off, I guess they told me last week against Butler that we played a lot better defense for a while and that's just breaking down. So each week we seem to be getting better. Let's hope this is the week we break through and, and clutch it down on them. Crusaders return to the field. Today's game, by the way, presented by the Sports Shop. The foul ball. South Lake Dodge Nissan, R.W. Baird and Company, Valparaiso Physicians and Surgery Clinic, Burrell Ford, University Book Center, Co-op Car Care, Buck Suzuki and Yamaha, Valparaiso Orthopedic Clinic, Tudor Fashion Floors, Job Placement Services, Take One Video, Downtown Valparaiso Business Association, Porter Memorial Hospital, Indiana 105, and Advertising, Marketing, and Promotions, all making it possible for us to be with you with these uh, Valparaiso University Crusader football games and uh, basketball games, which will be coming up later this winter. And back we are, everybody, Dick Harlan, Bill Cook. Valparaiso comes in averaging 30 points a game on offense, and that's with a shutout against Wisconsin Whitewater in there. But they give up 38.9 points a game. That's very unusual for a team with a winning record. But every time Valparaiso has won, uh, Bill Cook, they have scored over 40 points. I hope it doesn't take 40 today because Drake only gives up about nine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, we're looking at that average. That means that in all our ball games, we're averaging close to 70 points per game uh, with both teams. Yeah. That's got to be close to a national average. It's right a lot now. of fun to watch, but uh, it right. drives, drives defensive coordinators crazy. Great for the fans. <laughs> Ready to go. Valparaiso will be kicking off. Drake will receive down deep as number seven for the uh, Bulldogs. Let's see. We got number 20, uh, Cortez Hall, and number seven, Rodney Berkeley. And there's the kick from Cameron Hatton, last week's hero against Butler. It's going to be taken at about the five to the 10. To the 15, he's got some room up the middle. He's got a lot of room to the 30, 35, still on his feet at the 40. And finally run out of bounds across midfield at about the 49-yard line. So a great kickoff return to start the ball game for the Drake Bulldogs. Nice kickoff return, but also excellent job blocking on the puck. They, he started the wedge up the middle, and they picked him off, and he, had a, he just had a gate to run through in there. He went untouched until he got uh, nearly untouched until he got to the 50-yard line. Wide to the left side comes Richard Hoskins, number four and number 19, and there wide to the left is Chad Hying. Quarterback is Roy Fletcher, a six-foot, 198-pound senior. Turns it around, hands it off to his fullback. That's Schimberg, and he is stacked up at the line of scrimmage by the Crusaders as they come on the right side. Coming in there, number 95, John Harrington is the first guy there, and Saul Shahid also there. Defensively for the Crusaders, it's John Harrington, number 95, Matt Culp, number 60, Eric Miller, 90, and 94, John Wrench, a freshman, getting his first start today for the Crusaders. Across that front line, Chris Helton, 52, Josh Burning, 6, and Tim Rice at number 8, the linebackers. We'll get the defensive backs here in a moment. Fletcher sets them down, the I formation this time. Goes back, wants to throw, fires it out here. He's got his man. That's Hoskins. Flag goes oh, down. Flag down. Hoskins right might have pushed off. I'm not sure. It must be. I re if I would bet on the penalty, I would bet that was an offensive interference. And that's it. Hoskins pushed off to yeah. get loose. So the pass will not count. It will be a penalty against Drake. That's That'll move it back. That's when the receiver comes down and uses the, uses the defensive man to push off to get himself open. Did that right in front of Tom Horn. He knew what the call was oh, going to yeah. be. Well, the de <laughs> defensive back knew, too. He almost knocked the defensive back down. He slipped and went down on one hand. No, the pass interference, defensive pass interference against Drake will move it back 10 yards, take it back to the, or 15 yards, back to the 36-yard line where it's going to be second down and 25. Yeah. All right, we've got an edge on it now. We, they've got two plays that get 25 yards. Yeah, we ought to be in good shape here. Well, Fletcher brings them up. Defensive backs, two is Saul Shahid, number one out there for the Crusaders. Ronnie Sazone, number three, Ike Enigmo. As Fletcher rolls under pressure, fires. He's got his man diving catch made at about the 43-yard line by number 19. That's Chad Hying, who is not supposed to be in the starting lineup, but he's out there, so... Uh, that's an eight-yard pickup. It's going to be third and 17. Still in pretty good shape. Had a little pressure on him that time, so that's going to help us. So third down, 17 for the Bulldogs. Just underway. First quarter of play. Andre Murphy, number four out. Also, Tim Lansky in there for the Crusaders. They go to their nickel package. 
Fletcher sets him down. One running back behind him. Wide outs to both sides. Double wide outs to both sides. Goes back. Wants to throw. Stands in. Fires it out here. Under throw intended for Berkeley. And it goes incomplete. And the Crusaders have held on their first defensive stand of the day. Well, that's important to us. They're going to be kicking into the wind right now, too. Well, wait a minute. What do we got? Oh, we got a flag down? No. I don't know. We got too many players out there. I know that. Oh, he's going to send them back. It's going to be against Drake. Personal foul Personal against Drake. Foul. Well, kicking into the teeth of this very strong wind, Coach, that could really help you out because that's another 15 yards you're going yes. to pick up. Wow. And now they're going to have to kick it, and uh, you would figure you're not going to get all that much out of your kick to start with. So it's like getting a free 15 yards for the Crusaders. It's going to be 4th and 32, and they're going to kick from the 29. Back to do the kicking is number 39, Matt Sneller, is 5'11", 205-pound junior. They've got their, he had an excellent job punting last year. They just got him back last week. He'd been injured. I guess he's doing a good job. Crusaders should get pretty good field position. Ozzie stands at about the 41-yard line in Crusader territory. Here comes the snap from Sneller. Oh, they're coming after it. Oh. Flag goes down. A short kick. Got to bounce. Let it go. Get away from it. And takes a sideward bounce and finally goes dead at about the 46-yard line. Great position for the Crusaders. But I think we got a flag. I thought I saw it down here from the linesman here on the near side. I guess that somebody probably was off sides. It's going to be against Drake, too. Ozzie's shaking his hands. A legal procedure against Drake. The Bulldogs have self-destructed here early in the ballgame. Yes. I was worried that time we were blocking on, we're blocking for that punt there, and the ball was rolling over towards the On the, the offense, the penalty is refused. First time. Interior, <laughs> yeah. And Crusaders turn it down. They're going to take it at the 46-yard line. So first and 10, Valparaiso at their own 46. Well, I think important, Coach, that the Crusaders get out on top of this ball game, not only because they haven't won at home, but because they're playing against a team that has proven they can win ball games this year, and the Crusaders need to get them down early, well, get some a, confidence. Yeah, Drake's a sound ball club. But that, not only is it, that we have the ball, but it's a great psychological lift for our defense of four plays and out. Router at quarterback goes back. Nick going to run the draw. He gets it out for a couple of yards. They do a pretty good job of sealing him in that time. Couldn't find any receivers. Got a couple of yards out of it. Offensively for the Crusaders across that front is 70, Kevin McHale, and 79, Michael Beebe. The center is 63, Eric Rodbro. The right guard, Evans Fitzgerald, number 67, and Mark Elijah, number 69. Tight end, Daryl Jackson, 81. Number nine, Scott Henrick is the wideout. Michael Torbold, 86, is the flanker. Quarterback Nick Browder, number 12. Bob Cracknell, at quarterback, or at fullback, number 28. Nazi Young to have the uh, tailback as they give it straight ahead to Cracknell, and there's not much there. Might have got a yard. And the first play, I think, was a scramble rather than a draw. I think we had receivers out, and he, they just had the pressure on us. Well covered. Bobby Cracknell, last week in his second start ever for the Crusaders, Got up over 100 yards. He ran for, uh, well, I got that somewhere, 112 or something. 12 or 14 yards, yeah. something like that. 118 yards on 21 carries to go along with his 80 something in his first team. start against San Diego. He's been doing well. Young in motion. Browder fakes, now rolls right, wants to throw, stands in, goes deep. Oh, He's got Heinrich he wide open. Oh, oh, got him. Got it. At the 10 and down right there oh, at the 11 yeah. yard lane. That ball floated a little bit, but Scott Henrick was yeah. wide open, and Nick Browder got it to him. Down at the 11-yard line, first and 10, Valparaiso. Not only that, but he had number two, Kerman Mason, which is their best coverage man by far, their best one, beat deep. A 40-yard pickup on the play, Nick Browder to Scott Henrick, who's really starting to come into his own for the Crusaders. Henrick. Right over the top of their best. Is, uh, let's see, individually, I think, second in the conference, if I remember right, something like that. First down and 10 at the 11 for the Crusaders. Browder. Keeps it himself. Oh, Bob Cracknell, touchdown. All right, good job. He faked it to Bob Cracknell, who came in, made a good block for him, and Nick just went right behind him and into the end zone for the touchdown. A four-play, 54-yard drive, and the Crusaders are on the board. That's the best option I've seen Nick run at home this year. He stayed up on that line of scrimmage and took it right up in there. But it was set up by a good initial fake by Cracknell and then a, and a good block by him. Well, you know that fullback, if you're going to follow him in there, he's got to turn those guys to the inside, so you got 
didn't come off his rear end, and that's, that's exactly right. what happened. Cameron Hatton on for the kick. It's up. And he missed it. <laughs> oh. And the adventure continues yes. in the kicking game. Oh, a timeout on the floor on the field with 11.04 to go in the first quarter. Valparaiso 6. Drake nothing. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Six nothing Valparaiso. Cameron Hatton to kick it off for the Crusaders. Cameron approaches the football. Here's the kick. Nice deep kick oh, with the wind kick. behind him. Going to be taken at about the four by Berkeley to the five, to the ten, to the fifteen, to the twenty. Twenty-five to the thirty, and out to the thirty-two yard line. So Drake in pretty good field position. First and ten up at the thirty-two yard line. I'm very much impressed with uh, their special team on that. They're doing an excellent job blocking coming down. Too many teams always to see the guys getting in position and then missing people. But they're doing a good job with that return. So first and ten for the Drake Bulldogs at the 32-yard line. Roy Fletcher, number 11, the quarterback, a six foot 198-pound senior. He's got uh, Grove and Schimberg behind him in the I formation. Is it to Grove? Grove off the right side, breaks one tackle and dives across the 35 out to the 37, picks up about five. Nice job that time. I'm watching 95, our freshman defensive end, in for his first ball game that time. Shuffling down the line, trying to keep the thing up. Well, 90, contained, 95 is John Harrington. Job. He's a junior. Well, Harrington, that's my other one. I'm thinking of 94. <laughs> 94. Okay. John Wrench, a 6'5", 231-pound right. freshman who Tom Horn says has been playing very well in practice. Flip-flopping. Fletcher sets him, one running back behind him. Spins it around straight ahead. It goes to Schimberg. Schimberg's got a first down across the 45 out to the 48-yard line. Just would not go down. Picks up 11 and a first down for the Drake Bulldogs. Uh, and he's a good running back. In fact, they have a depth of running backs. They've got about three of them that are uh, excellent. They've got one sitting back there that, took, that got hurt a couple of years ago, but against us had a big ball game against us. Well, looking at the... Rushing Drake's uh, Schimberg, 338 yards. Sixth in the conference coming into the ball game. Valparaiso has uh, Browder second and Young fifth in the conference coming in. They go to Grove trying to get around oh, the corner. Got, got some room to the, the 50 to the 45. Breaks a tackle to the 40. The 35 spins inside. Stepped out of bounds at about the 31 yard line. Well, we got somebody down on the field, too. Our, oh, yeah. 21 yards on the pickup. The Durrani Sazones, the Cizone. player who's down. down. I don't know what happened. But they just broke contain that time. They just come back on us and we didn't keep contain. I know it sounds like a rusty old coach always talking about it, but contain, contain is the name of defense. Well, those defensive ends and those defensive uh, outside linebackers got to force things back to the inside where they got some friends, don't that's they? That's right. Well, you've got 11 ball players out there. If you let them get outside, all those inside people can't help you. Just that one man's job is to make him cut back in. If you never make a tackle, all ball game, but you keep everybody inside, you're doing a good job. Looks like his right wrist, uh, Ronnie Sazone, having a problem with. As he comes off and uh, takes a seat on the bench. Murphy back in the ball game for him, and I believe, let's see, you got Murphy back there, also number 21 out there for the Crusaders. That is uh, Jamil Yancey getting his first start, a 5'5", 150-pound freshman. First and 10 at the 31 for Drake. 9.50 to go in the first quarter. Valparaiso leads at 6 0. Fletcher fumbled oh, the football. It's loose. Valparaiso's got it. Flags are down. Oh, let's... Fletcher came out of there that's without it. the football. It's recovered by the Crusaders. I believe that that's uh, French. Be Rich, who got the football. I yeah. believe Rich is the one that got on it, the freshman defensive inning. The Crusaders have it. That must have took a big bounce. Well, they say Saul Shahid's the guy that came up with it, so okay. Yeah. At any rate, we have it. the Crusaders have got it. First down and 10 at the 31-yard line. Well, another good drive, get another score up there, and we got this thing moving the right direction. That's, yeah, we got to make use of it right now. When we got the wind, too, this wind could be a factor. Today. It was pretty windy down there. It's also a little cool Blow today. It it's in the 50s, which is the first time we've had a game which, like that with the wind running like it is. Uh, would that have a, an effect at all when you're not used to having that kind of weather? Well, again... 
you know, it's different. We're talking about 50 in October being cool. <laughs> but that's only because we've had 80 degrees almost all week long. I've been playing golf in my shorts all week. First and 10 at the 31. Reverse Here goes to go. Ozzie, yes. trying to get around the corner. Flag and goes flag down as Ozzie gets it across the 35 to the 36. But a flag down where it usually is going to be offensive holding. And that's what it is. I to say, the temperature shouldn't affect them down there in this kind of weather. Right now, when they're playing and what the way they're doing right now, that's just not cold enough to affect them. Yeah, and when you get out there and get in the excitement of the game, that's you don't right. feel it that much anyway. Yeah, that blood is boiling. At least it should be. So that's going to cost the Crusaders 10. It's going to be first down and 20 back at the 21-yard line. Alfredo leading at 6 nothing here in the first quarter of play. Against the Drake Bulldogs out of Des Moines, Iowa. Kind of Still had a pretty up. good program going over the years there, and uh, Drake's always had, been a solid football program. They and Dayton there. are leading the conference right now. Right. Dayton, even though they don't have scholarship players, still five and zero. Oh. <laughs> First and ten at the twenty-one, as they give it off to Bobby Cracknell, and he'll get about four up to the twenty-five yard line. So it's going to be second down and 16. When I was young, too, I just always remember Drake from the Drake Relays. Yep. One of the biggest track meets in the country. That's big, well, it, back then, it was probably the biggest track meet in the country. Yep, could well be. Second down, 16 at the 25 for the Crusaders. Browder goes straight back, wants to throw. Wants to set up a screen, does oh. to Cracknell, and he throws it a little bit high. Plus, Drake had it smelled out pretty well, and Cracknell couldn't come up with it. Not a good pass by Nick either. Well, he had one right in his face all the way, and the kid did a good job. He didn't come low for the tackle. He stayed up and got his hands up in the air, which you should do when you're putting pressure on him because then Nick had to try to not only backpedal but throw it up over that hand, and that's what he caused to do. He threw it too high to the fullback. Excellent defensive job. Third down, 16. Next week at this time, we'll have Evansville against the Valparaiso University Crusaders as the Crusaders will be uh, hosting the Aces. Third down, 16 at the 25. The option to Young trying to get around the corner. has got some room as he moves it out to near the 30-yard line. About the 29 is where they're going to mark it. Pick up of about four, and it's going to be fourth and 12. The Crusaders are going to have to kick it away. Try to change up. I guess they figured they'd be looking for the pass, so they come back with the option. Third and 15 with the wind at your back. I we beat them deep one time already. Kevin Jennings back in punt formation for the Crusaders. Deep for Drake, uh, Rico Chapman, and also bad snap. B.J. Hellyer, oh, bad, bad kick. kick off the side of his oh, foot. Got to get a good round good. bounce for the Crusaders, and out of bounds it goes. At about the 40-yard line, maybe the 39. Well, we got a flag, I think, again. The officials are all running in. And we're going to have another flag. There's been a lot of penalties early yes. in this ballgame, Coach. I don't see... I don't, I don't see any flags, but they're here. I talking. Don't see a flag here. Now, there it is, right there by the 30. I see it now on the other side of uh, Tom Horn and Nick Browder. Browder's got it well, that's back blocked out from you. Oh, over there, okay. Yeah, well, they're still talking about it. Let's see. Face mask. Valparaiso. Illegal procedure. Valparaiso. <laughs> you had to double dip. <laughs> we went all the way up. And we're kicking with the wind. Well, I would guess they might not take any of those penalties no. because they're going to have it at about the 40-yard line, but I'm not sure. Let's see. They can only take one of them. They take the illegal procedure, they'll kick it again. If they take the face mask, that might be from the point of the five, point of the uh, return into the run. Okay. Yeah. Find them both, and so Drake's going to have it first right. and ten at the forty. Now, if you'd be kicking into the wind, they'd take the penalty. But it was a wise decision when he, he could get a good punt off on that one, the next one yet. They had the wind at their back end. Good call. Six to nothing. Valparaiso leads. 8-17 to go in the first quarter of play. Drake with the football. Roy Fletcher. Now yeah, Riley Sazone back out there defensively for the Crusaders, so that's a good sign. 
I think that injury was more one of the diver and pounders. Right. Dive and miss and pound the ground. <laughs> hurt your wrist. First and ten, Grove, the only running back behind Fletcher. Goes straight back, wants to throw, fires over the middle. Oh. There's nobody there. 84, the yeah. tight end, wasn't even looking. Ed Jennings, oh. and it went right behind him. And Ike and Nigbo would have had a touchdown yeah. if he just saw the ball come and could have picked it off. Oh, Ike. Well, Jennings went in there to throw a block, Coach. He never even looked for the pass. Yeah. <laughs> Ike was standing there. I don't. He was. He must be watching the receiver because the ball came right by him. Second down and ten at the 40-yard line. He looked like the intended receiver. Schemberg back in at the running back for Drake. Is it off to Schemberg on the left side at the 40 to the 45 where he's stuck, and down he goes. But he picks up five. It's going to be third down and five. Tim Risen and uh, John Wrench on the bottom of that pile for the Crusaders. They're third down a, and five. They're doing a good job with the Drake offense. Is, uh, they like to run behind that left guard and left tackle, 77, 72. What is that one again, that, his name? 72 is Felix Gallagher. Yeah, and... Uh, 71 is Todd Wozniewski. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we need one of those. Straight ahead is uh, Schemberg's going to have the first down as he breaks the tackle across the 50 down to the 46-yard line. Well, the Crusaders had him but couldn't hold him, Coach. And there's the first down. Doing a good job. Also, that Matt Jones, 77, they tell me they're, they're uh, right tackle. Yeah, all conference last year. Yeah, they like to run behind him. They say he's uh, not oh, the big, but one of the best athletes on the whole team as well. You can watch him when they run the counter options and everything. He'll be pulling and leading it with the pullback. First and 10 at the 45-yard line for the Bulldogs. Fletcher goes back, gives it off to Grove, and he's got another first down as it is grinded out inside the 40 to 38. Well, they're going back their ball game now, running a, <coughs> keep it on the ground, running into the wind. I think that's the way to do it, to keep the ball on the ground and eat up that clock so Valpo can't get the hold of the ball again with the wind at their back. Picks up seven on the play. It's going to be second down and three at the 38-yard line. 6.45 to go in the first quarter. We don't regret throwing that ball a little bit more when we had possession of it with the wind at our back. Second down and three again. He gives it off to Schimberg, breaks a tackle inside the 30 and down to the 27-yard line. So Drake, all of a sudden, just chewing the Crusaders up, up front. Right now, our linebackers are conspicuous by their absence. Well, here comes the linebacker out. I guess somebody else thought so, too. Josh Burning, the guy that come out, Tim Latsky's in the ball game, along with, uh, let's see, 40... Six, is that Brian Hardy? I make that 48 that's out there for the Crusaders. Oh, timeout. And timeout, timeout called by Drake as time was about to run out on the play. Clock, 6.13 to go in the first quarter. Valparaiso 6, Drake. Nothing. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. First and 10 at the 27 for the Drake Bulldogs as we go back to play. Roy Fletcher at quarterback. Goes back, gives it off to Grove. Grove trying to get around the right side, stumbles and gets it down to about the 26 or 25, maybe. Got a couple of yards. Second down and eight. John Harrington was chasing him down from the, we got the back down. side that time. Burning's down. Now Burning is no, up. That's, that's number burning. six. That's, that's number uh, four, isn't it? Let's see. Who is that? Is that 94? Is that French? No, nope, eight. Oh, Tim Ryzen. Ryzen has had a super year. Yes. The Crusaders That's, certainly do not want to move, lose him. He's lead, I think he's leading the team in tackles. Well, if he's not, he's going to be close. He is, by, <laughs> with 50. Yes, he is. He is uh, yeah, right here. eighth in the conference with 32 tackles, 18 assists, total of 50 tackles coming in. Yep. So Ryzen is uh, down across the way. 
he had a little gap that time to run into us. A good thing he stumbled for us because uh, I think he had a little running room to cut up in between there. But Rise it up on his down. feet. They're going to see if he can oh. put some weight on that ankle. So he's had a big year for the Crusader defense, and the Crusader defense, which has struggled already, does not need to lose Tim Ryzen. No, particularly that one ball game he came out after he got a little, he got a slight concussion, he got buzzed, and they brought him out of the ball game, put him back in, and the next series he made three tackles in a row. That was against Whitewater. Right. And he's not walking well coming no, he's off. he's not walking well at all. At all, so. Uh, well, that'll Ryzen be. has to come off. Have a nice pack. For some reason, they're having to block it off, though. They're not supporting it. Chris Stewart is in it, uh, the linebacker. Stewart has not played a lot this year for the Crusaders. A 5'11, 212 pound sophomore linebacker. He's in the middle there where Ryzen normally would be, along with Tim Lansky and uh, Josh Burning. Well, the second down and eight at the 25 for Drake as Ryzen finally reaches the sideline. 5.56 to go in the first quarter. Six to nothing. Down for Azo on top, but Drake driving. They're keeping the ball on the ground and eating up that time right now. So they'll get possession of the win in the second quarter. Hand right off to Schimberg. has got some room. Latsky can't bring him down as he gets the first down as he dives it inside the 20 and down to about the 17-yard line. Latsky had a shot at him. Couldn't bring him down. But they have... They've got the outside right now. It's just a clear, they have the ball, and we, there's nobody there. Pick up of eight, another first down, first and ten at the 17-yard line for the Bulldogs. Their offensive line right now is, is, is just controlling the line of scrimmage. Well, they go 275, 262, 267, 306, and 237 across the front, so they are big. And they're doing the job right now. And they're going right behind 77, their big tack, their tackle. It's more, uh, Matthew Jones, a 6'5", 237-pounder. Schimberg goes in motion. Grove gets it off the left side. He's got some room as he breaks it inside the 15 and down to near the 10-yard line. Jason Grove, a 6'1", 195-pound freshman. He picks up seven on the play. It's going to be second down and three at the 10-yard line. All the backs run with authority. Strong leg, they drive up in there, and it, nobody comes down with an arm tackle. Hoskins goes wide to the left. Berkeley goes wide to the right. Fletcher goes back, gives it off to Schimberg off the right side. Caught, gets away from behind, and is finally stacked up at about the six or seven yard line. He jerked out of a tackle. Somebody grabbed him from behind but couldn't uh, bring him down. He jerked out of that and uh, got forward. Let's see if he'll make the first down or not. Each time there, he's just running right off the tail of number 77. And uh, at Matt Jones, and, he, and Matt Jones has always got the line of scrimmages back at least two yards. Got it to the five, pick up a five, and another first down. It's first down and goal from the five-yard line for Drake. 50 yards, seven carries for Schimberg. Grove, 42 yards on five carries. That's pretty good balance. Yes. There it is. Give right it off, off to Schimberg to the outside. Touchdown. Right off the tackle again. Well, they're just wiping it out off of that right yes. side, especially against the Crusaders. And Schimberg go. takes it in from five yards out. We're tied at six. Well, I'd be running behind that Matt Jones, too. He just blows everybody off that line. So McKee, Michael McKee comes in. A 10-play, 60-yard drive for Drake. After the bad punt from the Crusaders with the wind at their back, which is not a good omen either. No. <laughs> and McKee will be on to try the extra point kick. McKee, a 5'10", 164-pound senior. Snap, kick. Looks good, and it is. It is. So there's time out on the field with 4.18 to go in the first quarter. The score now, Drake 7, Valparaiso 6. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Back we are, VU, Valparaiso's Brown Field, where the Crusaders trail Duke now 7-6. to Coach, you were talking about Matthew Jones while we were away, and he is just 
eating up the Crusader defense. Well, he's, he's driving that defensive man right off the line, and of course, then he's closing off all our linebackers on the inside. That's why we're not seeing any linebackers make any tackles. And, you know, and we're talking about Jones, and last week, I think Portman, their other, uh, their left side offensive tackle was yep. player of the week for him, yep. offensive player of the week. Nice high kickoff, floating a little bit. Ozzy's going to take it at the 15. He's to the 20. He's got some room. If he can get oh, by this guy, go, 25 yes. to the 30, 35 oh, to the 39, yes. almost the 40-yard line. Oh, Boy, is he fun to watch, yes, huh? Yes, I would say it's a thing of joy to watch him slither through there, I'll tell you. He just makes those move, and it's just gliding. It's poetry in motion. First and 10 just across the 39-yard line for the Crusaders. Let's see if they can do something offensively. They still have 4-11 to go with the wind. Although Drake uh, did a, against the win, but they do it mostly on the ground, and their defense is the uh, one of the top defenses in the conference against the run. Browder fakes the crack now, comes on the option. Nice move by Browder to the 40. Third, four, 45, 50, 45, the 40. What a move he put on the outside linebacker. Right at the line of scrimmage. I mean, to tell you, the guy's going to have to go look for his laundry there. That, yeah, that's, that's what you call a beautiful limp leg. He takes it in and then took it away and slid it outside. I thought he was dead right on that line of scrimmage. Here. He did a, an excellent job. Pick up a 23 yards on the play for Nick Browner. First down, Valparaiso. So the Crusaders offense begins to move again. Wide to the right is Tolbert and Henrik is the slot on the right side. Cracknell and Darren Rodriguez behind Browder. They give it off to Rodriguez. He dives off the right side. Not much there. Well, you got to do this, Coach, and people don't understand, but you got to run the ball once in a while into the middle, that's even against a team this tough defensively, because you got to keep them honest. That's right. Yeah, if you if you got no option going if you can't establish something with a fullback inside first. So it's second Absolutely. down at nine at the 37. Rodriguez got a yard. Well, we're in good position down here now. Nick barks out the signals for the Crusaders. Fakes the cru to there crack now. Now keeps it himself on the option. Looks to the outside. Keeps dancing and finally gets it down to about the 31-yard line. Picks up about six. He kept sliding it to the outside and gained him, gained the yard every time. He gained a lot more than I thought he got on yep, that play. I, right there. I thought he should have kept it up and kept it inside, but he... He picked up another six yards. Close to the 30-yard line. Going to be third down at about three. 3.20 to go. First quarter, 7-6. Drake on top. It's been a good first quarter of football. He bumped off a lot of butts sliding out there <laughs> that time, I'll tell you that. Nick sets him down. Spins. Gave it to the fullback this time. Okay. Cracknell inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. That time he rode the fullback and Bob Cracknell... He runs All up, the way to the 23, pick up of eight in the first down. He runs up there with authority, and I'll tell you one thing, too. He doesn't. He, he makes sure he gets that yardage first. He got two hands on that football. He keeps it tucked in, so that ball's not going to be dislodged. We're not going to lose it down there. I, I think our uh, our fullback is going to see his get his job back with the crack now running uh, in there. Fullback, yeah. Well, it's a tough situation, but uh, it's good to have two guys like that. Browder trying to run the option to the outside, and he gets away from the guy who chased him from the backside. He's going to get him maybe a yard out of it that time, as uh, that time Drake did a pretty good job of stringing it. Right. I think that was another time when we could have given it back to the fullback and let him run with the football. Well, it looks like they're playing the middle there kind of wide. They got yes. the tackles pretty wide, so you would think it's there, right. but uh, obviously they're doing that for a reason, and they feel like that... Uh, they can cover up the fullback well, coming yeah, through there, or they wouldn't be doing that. Well, they that, consider uh, Ozzy and uh, sure. Nick the two big threats, and they want to keep the ball out of their end. They'd rather see the fullback running the ball right now, I think. Second down and nine. I don't know if they've watched Bob Gracknell if they really feel that way. <laughs> yeah. Fumble as Ozzy and Nick had a problem, and Nick, it came off the hip of Ozzy Young, oh. and Drake recovers. At about the 25-yard line, a big turnover against oh, the Crusaders boy. when they were of driving the football. So any, Drake's going to take it first and 10 at the 25. In any close ball game, usually almost in any ball game, the difference in turnovers is going to make the difference yep. in a ball game. 
We started off with the brakes our way, and now we're giving it up the other way. First and 10 at the 25 for Drake. Fletcher sets him down for the Bulldogs. Long count. Goes back. Fakes. Gives it off to Grove. He's got nothing. Burning is there. And Nigbo is there. And a whole bunch of Crusaders come to join. Good job. One of the few times the Crusaders obviously have made a change on the outside, Coach. That time they did what you were talking about. They turned it back to the inside. That's right. I remember a, good, a number of years ago, Eric Parthesian said the statistic of who has possession of the ball is such an important one. But even more so, who who has the edge in turnovers is what is yep. going to make the difference in the ball game. Second down and 12 back at the 23-yard line for the Bulldogs. Fletcher goes straight back, wants to throw, stands. Now looks out to the left, fires it at her. Got a man open at the 33-yard line. That's number four, Richard Hoskins, who just did a turn move butter against uh, against uh, Sazone out there. Caught the ball up at the 33, pick up a 10. Going to be third at about two. Well, he just come out and ran a curl back to the inside, and he had plenty of time to throw the football, which you can expect. When they're running the ball so well, and then you use a play-action fake, you're going to freeze up any rush you have on you that way. They're, that's not to be unexpected. So that's it's what, third down and two. Let's see if the Crusaders can come up with a big play defensively here. Fletcher marks it out, gives it off. There it is. Guess where they're running. To Schemberg, and he's got the first down again as he gets it out to about the 38-yard line. They follow that big tackle. That's right. Matthew Jones, Jones. for the first down. I think what they need to do is just take that defensive end over there and just let him submarine down and take the feet underneath of Matthew Jones and nullify him. One minute to go in the tackle. quarter. Hoskin goes wide to the left side. Berkeley goes wide to the right. That's not Berkeley in there this time. It's, uh, excuse me, Haying. The eye formation behind Fletcher. Oh, well, I'm not sure what that was all about. It didn't look good, but they gave it to Grove, and it took, ended up good <laughs> for the Crusaders. No flags the now. The quarterback in the center snapped, and they were moving. Everybody else was still right. standing there waiting for another snap count. Well, I think, that, <laughs> yeah, I think the quarterback, that's one of those things where he snapped the ball before everybody else was ready. Fortunately for Fletcher, he was ready for it. A loss of four yards on the play. It's going to be second down, 14. A better a loss of three yards than a loss of a football. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. If he snapped yeah. it early and it looked that's like right. he did, it's yeah. lucky the quarterback caught it. Ten seconds to go. That may be the. That will be the last play of the first quarter. The score after one. In a good one, the Drake Bulldogs seven, the Valparaiso Crusaders six. You're watching. Valparaiso Crusader football. That's how we beat him deep. That's how we score. We are ready to start the second quarter. Seven to six. Drake on top. It is first or second and 14 back at about the 34 yard line for the Bulldogs. Crusaders with a big defensive stand needed here. Fletcher back under pressure. Fires it out here. Oh, complete. Okay. Boy, Josh Burning just about had it. A little bit high for him as he cut in front of the intended receiver. And it's going to be third and 14 and another big defensive stand coming up for the Crusaders. Well, Josh doesn't have to feel bad. He didn't intercept that one. He did a good job just deflecting that ball and making sure he didn't get it. There wasn't much chance of him catching that. Third down, 14. 14.56 to go in the first half. 7-6, to six, Drake. Been a good one. It didn't take them for long to throw the football when they had the wind at their back. They went in a passing situation right now, and they're coming out on another. Wide to the left side is Hoskins and also Haying. There we go. Wide to the right is Berkeley. Flag, oh, goes, flag down goes down. down. Probably going to have Boy, he threw right. it away. There is no receiver anywhere close. No white shirts even. Right. Now, they're not going to call that. They're probably going to call the hold. Oh. Uh, Sam Bernardi and Tom Horn out there say, hey, where's the receivers? <laughs> I think I'd well, let right. that go. But forget about it. It's yeah. going to be, you know, you take the play, it's going to be fourth down. They're going to have to kick it. So it's going to be fourth down and 14. The Crusaders will turn this one down. Tom wanted the yardage for the intentional grounding, which has also lost a down. Right. So it'll be fourth down That's even right. farther back. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. <laughs> I'd rather have that penalty too. So it's got to be a kicking situation for the 
They That's don't call stellar, that very often. If he no. throws that ball across the line of scrimmage and he's not running for his life dearly, uh, that's not going to be called. Well, he obviously threw that one away. There wasn't even right. a white shirt in the vicinity. Yeah. But, but it wasn't just even say, well, one. it slipped out of my hand. I didn't open. throw it long right. enough. That's all. As he's standing at about the 25, he's not very deep for the wind that's blowing behind this kicker, but let's see what, uh, maybe they know something. Sneller gets ready to kick it off. There's the snap. Ooh. Oh, Heinrich almost got God. there. Ozzie's going to have it at about the 25 to the 30. He's got some room, 35 to the 40. And that's where the Crusaders are going to have it. First down and 10, and Scott Hendrick was just short. I still say Heinrich could have blocked two balls already, and they could have blocked some last week. He gets himself in there, but he's got to dive out flat and flatten himself out in front of that foot instead of stretching up this way. You kick it over the top of the hand. If they dive out about a point from three to four yards in front of that foot, flatten out, he'll get that, he'll get that block. That could hurt, though, Coach. <laughs> yeah, it's First hard. and 10 at the 40 for the Crusaders. Nick Browder at quarterback. On the option to the outside, tries to cut it in. Flags go Flags. down. Nick's going to get a couple of yards. Probably going to be a hold. That's uh, what you usually get in that situation coming from there. And it is. It is a hold. Now we're in a hole. It's going to be first down and... 20 back near the 30-yard line now for the Crusaders. Seems like here we are in the... You don't want to be losing ground back here now. Now we're putting into the win. We didn't have very good punch with the win. Here we are in the Crusaders' sixth game and uh, Drake's seventh game of the year, Coach, and yet we got all these penalties that uh, are penalties that you wouldn't think you'd have this yeah, time of year. Yeah, we're, getting a, we're getting a plethora of penalties plethora. <laughs> at this point. So it's going to be second and 20, or first and 20, back at the 30-yard line for the Crusaders. Browder on the reverse, goes to Ozzie, and nothing there. As he is caught and dropped as he gets to the line of scrimmage, might have got a yard out of it. Down yeah, at the bottom of that pile was number 90, Brian Peck, for Drake. Sometimes part of that, we're going to get a lot of holding penalties all of a sudden. It might be a different officiating crew from another part that neither one has had. And uh, it just might be that they call something a lot closer than the other ones do, too. No gain on the play. They've got about a half a yard. It's going to be second at about 20. They're calling them on both sides of the line, Drake yeah. and Valpo. Oh, yeah. A lot more holding. Router sets him down. Goes straight back. Nick wants to throw. Stands in here. Throws in. Almost oh. intercepted. Holy mackerel. Try to go to the tight end, Daryl Jackson, and he never saw the linebacker. Number 31 there, Matt Miller, and I'll tell you what, Miller had six if he'd hung on to that one. Yeah, he had the sideline and wide open all the way. Well, you know, that's hard to uh, to explain to people watching from the stands, but sometimes the defense does a good job of uh, of uh, disguising that, and I don't think Nick ever saw 31 coming. No, he dr he made a quick drop back, coming back from the inside. Nick saw the, the defensive back behind him over there. And that linebacker slid up underneath. Into the shotgun now as Browder rolls right, wants to throw, stands in. He's got some room, and now it's going to be hemmed in, and down he goes. Well, if he was going to try to run, he needed to start earlier. Drake's well, got somebody hurt there, number 36. Good coverage. One of their linebackers is down for the uh, Bulldogs. That is. Nick uh, had a little time to throw that football, too, but they, they, had, we had, good, they had good coverage on us downfield there. Eric Musha is the guy that's down for Drake. So a pickup of a yard on the play is going to be fourth down and 19 for the Crusaders, who failed to move the football again. Musha down on the ground. Looked like he uh, either twisted an ankle or got kicked in the uh, leg or something like that. It looked like the way he went down. So there's time out, 13.40 to go in the first half, and we'll take a break. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader Football. Well, a bad punt for the Crusaders. Uh, I'm not sure if it was partially blocked or just into that win, but a very, very bad punt. And Drake's going to have it first down in 10 at the Crusader 37-yard line. Well, big test here for the defense. Fletcher, straight ahead is Grove, and he'll have it down to about the 30-yard line, picks up seven. 
Well, I was concerned about a short punt, about them getting the ball within their 40 or 50, but not inside our own 40 or 50. That was a real tough break for us. I think that was a partially blocked ball. Well, it, I hope so. And then that wind, <laughs> and then that wind caught it, and it was blowing yep. it back. We're lucky we got it. I'm glad it finally came Second down. Second down and three at the 30-yard line for the Bulldogs of Drake. Fletcher sets him down. The Crusaders need a big turnover here. They give it to Swimberg, and he is caught behind the line of scrimmage, and then they stack him up. Let's see who's on the bottom of that pile for the Crusaders. Number 60, Matt Culp grabbed him by the ankle, just would not let go until he got some help. Good job. No gain on the play. It's going to be third and three. Well, the Crusaders' defense, I think overall, Coach, uh, they got to be pretty happy with the way they played. That's right. Uh, you know, Drake has uh, been able to run the ball a little bit against them, but they haven't been able to give up the big play, which is something they've been doing well, everywhere let's else. See. Okay, number uh, 77 is on the left side. Where are they going to run it? Left oh, side. Left side. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. Nothing too serious, too. Uh, <laughs> pretty simple game, actually, <laughs> isn't it? Right. Give it off to Schwimberg, and he'll get five on a first down for Drake. Down near the 25-yard line. Best runner behind your best blocker. That's about as simple as it gets, isn't it? And did you see where the line of where, where the line of scrimmage was when the back got to it? Yeah. Two yards from downfield from where it was to start with. First down and ten at the 25-yard line for Drake. Again, there they give goes. it to Grove this time to the outside, and he gets it inside the 15 and down to about the 13-yard line. Maybe the 12-yard line and another first down as Drake really starting to pound on the ground. And put it at the 13 to pick up a 12 on the play. 65 yards for Schwimberg, 55 for Grove. He looked like somebody put a a jet in his back that time when he took off that time. He just exploded out of there. First and 10 at the 13-yard line. Gives it back to Grove straight ahead. This time he only gets a couple of yards. He goes right up the middle. In and there was Eric Miller to make the tackle for the Crusaders. Well, in the middle, the Crusaders have been able to stop him. It's when they get outside those tackles and out on the ends, Coach, that they really make a yardage. Breaking, yeah, they're breaking right off the tackle. Right off, when they go right up at the tackle and then they break it just to the outside of him. He always got it. That's where they're making their big yards. Second down and seven at the 10-yard line. Wide to the right side, Berkeley. Wide to the left side, Hoskins. Schwimberg gets it off the left side. Ooh, what a hit as he gets it down to about the five-yard line. But it's going to be third and about two. Willie Little came over and the guy made the hit. Right. Willie Little the third. But it's got to be third down and two as they continue to just pound. Good contact. At the Crusaders with this huge offensive line that Drake has. Smallest guy they got is 6'5", 237, and he's their best. There it is. Schwimberg, and he is stacked up. I'm not sure if he got to the first down or not. Crusaders did a good job of filling from the inside that time. They went on a quick count that time. On the bottom of that pile for the Crusaders... Matt Murphy, and also I believe Latsky might have been in there, and John Harrington might have been in on that. Got to be close to the first down. Well, they'll go for it, whether it is or not, I would guess, at this point, the way they've been running the football. They stretch out the uh, chain. First down, as you can see it there. So first and goal at the three-yard line. For the Bulldogs, who have been able to just pound it at the Crusaders here in this first half and make it work. 130 yards rushing I have for the Bulldogs in the first half of play so far. we got a long time to go yet, 10-20. Schwimberg, and he's not going to get there. Josh Burning fills. He was the first guy in to help. Now, now we're getting some linebackers making some tackles. Now that's what we should have. Second down and goal. Good job. No gain on the play. So it's second and goal at three. Schwimberg. Schimberg with 72 yards, 13 carries unofficially. Fletcher. Barks out his signals. They give it off to Schimberg. Dives. 
Touchdown. Schember again from three yards out, and Drake right. extends their lead to 13 to 6. An impressive drive all on the ground again for Drake. Nine plays, 37 yards. The bad punt by the Crusaders gave it to them with a short field, and they take advantage. They've got about 12 first downs all by rushing right now, I think. So it'll be Mike McKee on to try the extra point. Right now, the you know, the similarity we have of last week and this week, we've got the Bulldogs and the Bulldogs and rushing, and they're all putting it on the ground on us. Oh, and it looks Kick good. Kick up, and it's good, so McKee hits it. So there's time out on the field with 9.48 to go in the first half. The score now, Drake 14, Valparaiso 6. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Back we are, 9.42 to go in the first half, 14-6. to 6. Drake on top of the Crusaders. Coach, uh, that line has been, as you were talking, very, very impressive. Yeah, their offensive line has done the job. The line of scrimmage ends up, and that's why our linebackers have been so ineffective today, is because they're putting up their... They're, they're taking our defensive people and putting them, but screening out our linebackers with them. Just doing a great job. Okay, Ozzie Ozzie from the go. seven to the ten to the fifteen to the twenty, trying to get around the corners. Got there twenty-five, yeah. and it is shoved out of bounds as he gets it up to about the twenty-eight yard line. First and ten for the Crusaders. They'll spot the football at the twenty-seven or twenty-eight yard line. Let's see where they're going to put it down at the, near the twenty-eight. First and ten. Well, the Crusaders need to get a drive underway. Keep that defense off the field for a while, if nothing else. Right. They got us going laterally on, on the kickoff return now. I like it better when Adi can take it up the middle and then break it up to the outside first. That's where we get our big our big yards, not when you take it laterally from the onset. First and 10 at the 28-yard line for Valparaiso. Henry comes out wide to the left side. He's got one pass today for 40 yards. That's it. That's all the Crusaders have completed. Tolbert comes in motion. Browder rolls left. He's got a lot of pressure from the inside, and he's in big trouble and dives forward. Might have got a yard out of it. Let's see where they're going to spot it. Good coverage there by Drake downfield. They wouldn't let Nick uh, find anybody open. Well, that's two plays in a row now where Ozzie's looking for a receiver, and Drake's had excellent coverage on him. No gate on the play. It's going to be second down and ten. But he wisely didn't throw the football. He's eight better take it out of bounds and eat it than throw an interception, especially when you're throwing into the wind. And what a wind it is. It's pretty strong out there. I don't know the mileage, but it's probably in the 20s or at least the high teens. Got that flag straightened up. Second down and 10. Handoff. Well, on the option this time, he kept it. He's got some room, but a flag goes flag down, goes and down. we're probably going to get a hold against the Crusaders. That would be the third hold against the Crusaders here in this first half, if it is, and that's it. Holding again. Well, I'll tell you what, the Crusaders are killing themselves, and Cracknell coming out, and in goes Nate Bobick. We haven't seen Bobick for a couple of games. had a bad ankle at fullback. So I would guess the uh, hold probably against Bobby. On the first series, we're out to the 40-yard line. We get a hold and put us back to the 30. Now we got one up at the 30, and we're going to put us back to the 20, and then we're going to have to kick into that. No, we're not on this play, but we're going to have to kick into that wind again, and we're going to block it. It's all the way back to 16, so in effect, a 12-yard penalty, and so it's going to be second down and 22. The field position is going to kill us, and I, don't, I wish I wouldn't have been such a good prophet. <laughs> second down, 22 at the 16-yard line for the Crusaders. 9-19 to go in the first half, trailing 14-6. Browder, quick pitch to Young, oh, got loose, and I think Drake may have it back. Let's see. Ozzie went after it. He just didn't catch the pitch that time. Yeah, it was thrown a little behind him. It and off his uh, I think Ozzie might have come up with it. All the way back at about the 11-yard line. So a loss of five on the play. Now, I'm going to tell you, that was an outstanding play on Ozzie's part, recovering that fumble, because he was going one way, and that ball was going back another way with the great people coming towards the ball. I don't know how we got it. I thought it looked to me like Drake had got it, but too. apparently Ozzy got it back, so yeah. good for him. Third down, 27 now at the 11. Boy, is it a tough play offense in this situation. Browder gives it off to Bobeck. Oh, he fumbled, fumbled the football. Again. It's loose. 
as it was knocked out of there, and I think Drake came up with it this time, and they did. Number 41 as the football for the Drake Bulldogs. That is John Kunstner, and they're going to have it first and 10 at a just short of the 10-yard line. Well, that was a... All the way back at about the 11-yard line. So a loss of five on the play. Now, I'm going to tell you, that was an outstanding play on Ozzie's part, recovering that fumble, because he was going one way, and that ball was going back another way with the great people coming towards the ball. I don't know how we got it. I thought it looked to me like Drake had got it, but too. apparently Ozzie got it back, so yeah. good for him. Third down, 27 now at the 11. Boy, is it tough play offense in this situation. Browder gives it off to Bobeck. Oh, he fumbled, fumbled the football. Again. It's loose as it was knocked out of there, and I think Drake came up with it this time, and they did. Number 41 as the football for the Drake Bulldogs. That is John Kunstner, and they're going to have it first and 10 at a just short of the 10-yard line. Well, that was a draw from the shotgun. He hands it to fullback, and that defensive man just reached in and grabbed the hand and ripped that ball out of there that time. Well, Nate Bobeck hasn't played for a couple of weeks with that bad ankle, and... Uh, his first chance to carry the football, and he coughed yeah. it up. Well, he, that's not that unusual. The ball he played for a while. But the ball was ripped out of his hands uh, by the defensive man. Well, first and ten at the ten-yard line for Drake, and they can really spread this game out if they can score here. Crusaders defense need to come up with something. They go to Grove, Very trying good. to get around the corner. This time they string it out, and good out job. of bounds he goes. No gain on the play. That time the Crusaders did a good job that's, on the outside. That's when a better defensive performance we put on that run today well i guess at this point there we had people you need to, going you to want the to ball. stop them at least with nothing more than a field goal you're the crusaders a touchdown puts you in pretty serious shape here at halftime 8 37 to go because we got a long time to go until we get to there sam bernardi defensive coordinator of the crusaders Trying to get his defense to come up with something second down and 10 at the 10 they need a turnover i, I don't give them that inside move Fletcher well, watched the I throw, fires, there, nice play. Nice that time Murphy. Andre Murphy comes over and yes, knocks it away. Did. A great defensive and, play. And the receiver is trying to say that he had his hand on my back. Well, first. he probably did. He interfered with me. <laughs> they do that all the time, don't they? I think it was you guys up. coach that stuff, But he got you? that ball. He got that hand out. Yeah. Going for the football. That's going to be third so. down and 10 from the 10-yard line. Going for the football. <laughs> yeah, see, if that would have been the other way around. Well, that was a draw from the shotgun. He hands to the fullback, and that defensive man just reached in and grabbed the hand and ripped that ball out of there that time. Well, Nate Bobeck hasn't played for a couple of weeks with that bad ankle, and... Uh... Well... He, That's not that unusual. The he ball played for a while. But the ball was ripped out of his hands uh, by the defensive man. No, first and 10 at the 10-yard line for Drake, and they can really spread this game out if they can score here. Crusaders defense need to come up with something. They go to Grove, Very trying good. to get around the corner. This time they string it out, and good out job. of bounds he goes. No gain on the play. That time the Crusaders did a good job that's, on the outside. That's when a better defensive performance we put on that run today. Well, I guess at this point, there we had people you, need to, going you to want the to ball. stop them at least with nothing more than a field goal. Near the Crusaders, a touchdown puts you in pretty serious shape here at halftime. 8.37 to go, because we got a long time to go until we get to there. Sam Bernardi, defensive coordinator of the Crusaders, trying to get his defense to come up with something. Second down and 10 at the 10. They need a turnover. I, I don't give them that inside move. Well, Fletcher wants to throw, I, fires, there, nice play. Nice that time Murphy. Andre Murphy comes over and yes, knocks it did. away. A great defensive and, play. And the receiver is trying to say that he had his hand on my back. Well, first. he probably did. He interfered with me. <laughs> they do that all the time, don't they? I think it was you guys up. coach that stuff, But he got you? that ball. He got that hand out. Yeah. Going for the football. So that's going to be third so. down and 10 from the 10-yard line. Going for the football. <laughs> Yeah, see, if that would have been the other way around, you coaches have been out there screaming. That was interference. Call it. Throw a flag. Have some guts. You can go for it, but you can't grab one in the back for it. So there's a timeout call. There's a timeout on the field. 8.34 to go in the first half. 
We'll keep it right here this time. 14-6, Crusaders trailing by eight. They can get a first down on the nine. Well, they can get a first down on about the one, one, just inside the one. One yard line. So this is a big third down play here. You want to force them, I guess, at, at this point, Coach, at least to settle for the field goal. That's you don't right. want to give up oh, the yeah. touchdown. Oh, that's absolutely right. If they can hold them to a field goal here, that will be an uh, excellent job on our defense part. You talked uh, earlier about the turnovers in this ball game. Drake had one early in the game but that the Crusaders couldn't capitalize, but these two fumbles, one led to the touchdown, and now this one has put Drake right down here uh, Knock it on the door one other time. You just cannot turn the ball over against good football teams. Well, we've had two of them down there. They've had a block punt that turned it yep. over inside the 30, and now we come up with a fumble inside, what was it, the 20? Yeah. That's, you, that kills you. Well, the Crusaders trying to come up with something. And stats early that from uh, the 20-yard line in, once they went in the 20-yard line in, They've been uh, scoring you know, about a 75% average. Well, most teams do, actually. Yeah. That's, uh, that's what they strive for. Red zone. Third and 10 at the 10-yard line for Drake. Hying and Hoskins out wide to the right. Berkeley out wide to the left. One running back. That's Grove as Fletcher goes back. There's swings it out to Grove. Oh, made a nice Grove's catch. Catch catches it at the five. Going to be down to about the two-yard line. Might have got it to the first down. We'll see. What a catch by Grove. That was not a well-thrown ball, but he came up with it. And, and he's got to be down to about the two. He's got to be a yard short. It's going to be fourth and one oh, at the two. I thought, sure, we had him stopped on that play. But he made an excellent catch and then was able to, to make, get his balance back and get the ball down to the two-yard line. They're going to go They're for it. They're going to go for it. Oh, sure. Big play here for the Crusader defense. Nine seventy-seven. And Lockwood, Schwimmer, to the touchdown. Ball. Nobody there. They just wiped out the whole side. The Crusaders all on the ground, and Schwimberg walked into the end zone. Need I say who they ran over? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you. It's impressive. Yeah, it took them four plays to go ten yards. I'd like to see if that quarterback can call an automatic. I think I put about five guys over 77 on any short down <laughs> situation. <laughs> Third touchdown of the day for Schimberg on the second. And we're still in the second quarter with 7:53 to go. McKee on. Yeah, the Crusaders had a situation where it appears they're going to have to outscore them again, and that's what it's been all year when they've won. They've been shootouts. Their defense just has not been able to keep people off the scoreboard. There's the kick by McKee, and it's good. So there's timeout on the field with 7.53 to go in the first half. It's now Drake 21, Valparaiso 6. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Seven fifty-three to go in the first half of play. The Crusaders... Trailing now 21-6 to the Drake Bulldogs. The Crusaders need to come up with some kind of an offensive play here, Coach. Yeah, we need a big play right now. Just out of bounds. Goes out of bounds. That'll give it okay. up to the Crusaders at the 35. This is where Ozzie can put us back in the ball game again with, some, with a big kickoff return. Preferably for a touchdown. That would be nice. Yeah. That'd be the way That's to The Crusaders are going to take the ball. 21-6, two turnovers in a row have cost the Crusaders a black punt and a fumble, and uh, Drake has taken advantage. Matter of fact, all three of their touchdowns have come following turnovers by the Crusaders. First and 10 Crusaders at the 35. Two fumbles and the black punt, and uh, you cannot give teams that are as good as Drake opportunities like that. Well, what we need to do right now, too, is we need to keep our hands on the football, even if we have to run that ball up in here right now. We've got to sustain it and eat this clock up right now. First and 10, Nick Browder sets him at the 35. Very important Bakes drive. Bakes gives it off to Bobeck straight ahead, and uh, Nate takes it for five up to about the 40. So there they go right back okay. to Bobeck after the fumble. They want to make sure he understands they have confidence in him. That's right. Like I say, that last play, I have to see it very clearly. Nate wasn't hit. He didn't get hit and fumble the football. The guy reached in and did a good job, got his hand on that football and ripped it right out of there. Good view there of Sam Bernardi talking to his defense on the Crusaders' sideline. Hoping the offense will stay out there while come up with some points. Second down and five at the 40. Browder 
Again to Bobek and off the right side, and Bobek's going to get it up to about the 43, maybe even the 44-yard line. As Nate drives off the right side, they're going to give him Been a good three. job. It looked like he was going to have the first down, and that linebacker come up there and put a good blast on him from the front. Third down and two. Up at the 43-yard line. Henrik goes wide to the right side. Tolbert goes wide to the left. Afraid to give it to him again. Browder. There it is. Pitch this time out to Rodriguez, and he's going to be about a yard short of the first down. And it's going to be decision time for Tom Horn. Going to have less than a yard to go. Let's see where they're going to spot the football. Oh, it's at just close. across the 44, so he's about a half That's a yard close. short. Oh. And they're going to kick it away. Yep. He almost asked him. We can't give it to him inside there again. I think that's the first pitch we've made off of the option today with the one yard to go. That's normally a giver, a quarterback keep. So Jennings back in punt formation for the Crusaders is going to be kicking into that wind. A oh, snap is short, it. but a, a whistle blew just before the snap. Oh, and it was going to be time a to the time run out, I believe. Oh, and it was delay a game against the Crusaders. They didn't get it off in time, and they were going for the fake. Fake, indirect snap to the fullback and a go-off tackle. So, well, they won't now. They'll, they kick. Won't now. They'll have It'll to kick it kick. away. Mm. Oh, too bad. Fourth and six, back at the 39-yard oh, line now. There's the snap. Good snap. Nice Good. kick this time into that win. Fair catch call, but they'll get away from the football, and it's going to go out of bounds at about the 34-yard line, right. so that's where Drake will take it first and 10. Decent kick into the win. At the 34, Crusaders trailing 21-6. Need to come up with a defensive stand here. It would have been nice if we got a little roll on that thing that time, but it bounced straight up in the air. 5.50 to go in the first half. Well, that's unfortunate. Usually what happens on that with the fake punt is they bring in the play for the fake punt and somebody doesn't quite get the message right away. So they have to say, no, and make sure it's a fake punt. By that time, the clock, the yep. clock ran down, and that's exactly what happened. First and 10 at the 34. Fletcher sets him down. Impressive display so far for Drake on the ground. Fletcher wants to throw. Oh. Stands, fires it out here deep. Yes, it yes. is intercepted by Enigmo. Yes. Okay. Enigmo and Shahid both were there, and Ike Enigmo comes up with it at the 49, and maybe that'll be the big spark yeah. that gets the Crusaders going. We had somebody in the quarterback's face, made him throw a poor pass. I caught it and fell on top of Sahid, so he was able to get up and start running the football again. Well, they blew it dead, but he thought he could do that. Well, it looked <laughs> to me like he could, too. First and ten at the 49-yard line for the Crusaders, their best field position in quite a while. Let's see if they can take advantage. Nick Browder brings him to the line of scrimmage. Wide to the right is Tolbert. Wide to the left is Henrik. The I formation behind Browder. Nick on the option to Ozzie. Ozzie out there all by himself. Not one blocker in front of him, and they knock him down at the line of scrimmage. Right now, I think we're just trying to get the ball in Ozzie's hands, and they're sitting out there, and they've got Ozzie covered. Yeah, they know he's coming, don't they? That's right. They're not, they've made up their mind that they're not going to let Ozzie take the football. I have Ozzie with minus four yards rushing in the ball game so far, and it's not all his fault. But, no. Uh, we're going to have – it's going to have to be with the fullback or Nick right now yet. Wideouts to both sides for Browder, second down and 10 at the 49. Nick goes back, wants to throw, stands in, plenty of time, fires it out here, incomplete, oh. intended for Tolbert, and it was too high. Yeah. It's going to be third and ten. Yeah, we had good protection that time. Nick had plenty of time to throw the football. Browder, one out of four today for 40 yards. That was his first one of the day. He got Scott Henrik that uh, set up the Crusader touchdown. And we got third and long, and we're going to be thrown into the wind right now. <coughs> Five minutes and four seconds to go in the first half. Third down, 10 at the 49. Browder with the I formation. Double wideouts to the left. 
sends it up to Ozzy on the screen, and that's not going anywhere as Drake was there. They had four defenders out in the middle of that screen. They, they a made loss up, of a couple. I'm sure they made up their mind coming into the ball game that they're going to they're going to cover Ozzy, and they are. He was well covered again that time. I was like, I was just tickled to death that Nick was able to get that ball off because he had somebody coming on his blind side from the back, about ready to take his head off. Back in punt formation again for the Crusaders. There it is, oh, a nice punt. kick. Oh. Got to be taken a uh, fair catch at about the 18-yard line. Well, I thank him for giving us a fair catch on that one because he had 15 yards between him and any brown shirt coming down there when he signaled for that fair catch. Well, Jennings with a pretty good kick into the wind that time, and uh, Drake will take it first and 10 at the 19. Well, the Crusaders got the field position on the exchange, but still need to come up with something. Yes. Yeah. 4.24 to go in the first half, 21-6. Wide to the left side goes Berkeley. Wide to the right side is Hoskins. New running back is there, number 35, Matuti Lobai. In motion. They go to Grove. Grove around the corner again. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another. Gets it across the 25 and out to the 26. I've just been amazed, Coach, the way they're able to blow it, down that outside contain. And, uh, that's right. They, they've got an established running game off over there. And you know what side it's going to go to. I mean, three out of four, it's going to go right at 77's butt. That's Pick up what they've a been seven. doing right now. Grove limped off a little bit. So we'll see uh, Lobai comes in at tailback. Wideouts to both sides. Everybody else in tight. Double tight ends. Lobai straight ahead, and he's submarined and uh, got nothing. That's called keep Monist on the inside, and then we'll go back over the tackle. Well, they haven't had any chance at all up the middle, but, boy, when they go out to those tackles, they've been able to make a lot of yardage. No gain on the play. It's going to be third and three. Well, there'd be a big play for Valpo right now. Make a stop here. And Crusader defense needs to come up with something. 3.15 to go in the first well, half. I'll tell you which side they're going to run it to. Let's see. <laughs> Wherever 77 Wherever goes. He at? He's, he's on here. the left. He's on the left? Yeah. Oh, and they're going to throw. throw. Fires it out here, and he dropped oh, it. Oh, he dropped had him, uh, Had his receiver button hooked right at the... 31-yard line, Hoskins, and he just didn't catch it. Well, he was one yard past the first and ten, which he should be, and he just threw it down there and he dropped it. So fourth and three, and they're going to have to put it away, and Ozzie's going to get another chance. A 2.59 to go in the first half. Crusaders need to have something happen here to really get this thing turned around, get them on the scoreboard before halftime, get them back in the ball game. They trailed 21-6. Crusaders scored first. They've given up 21 straight points. Sneller back in punt formation. Here's the snap. Kick. Oh, he got that oh. one. He got that one. Boomed it. Ozzie nice all the way job, back to the 20. Slips. Now trying to get outside and is going to be down at the right. 25. What a kick. 54-yard kick in the air caught by Ozzie, and he got a five-yard return out of it. Good job by Ozzie and fielding the football. First and 10 at the 25, so the Crusaders have 75 yards to travel. It had good height to it as well. Yeah, he got all of that one. Yep. By far his best kick of the day. So Browder comes back for the Crusaders, and they'll bring him up to the line of scrimmage. Now what we need to do down here right now, if, if we have no score on the board at all, is make sure we eat up this clock so we don't give the ball in their position, let them get a field goal or something here before the... Young yeah, goes in motion. Gives it off to the fullback. That's Cracknell. He's yeah, got a lot of room. Good job. Bob gets it up across the 30 and out to about the 32 and 33 yard line. Looked like he was going to get more than that, but he picks up eight. Second and two. But it also looked like he wasn't going to get anything for a while. Yep. He broke off that first tackle to get out there. Good job by Cracknell. Second down, two yards to go at the 33 yard line for the Crusaders, trailing 21 6. There's a guy over there on the Drake side in shorts, Coach. Yeah, well, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Second and two. 
Browder. On the outside, they have five men out there. They have five defenders out there. They're not about to let him turn that corner. Well, he strung that out too far. That option has got to be determined a lot earlier than that. Lost a yard on the play. It's going to be third down and three for the Crusaders. Offensively, have just not done much here in this first half. A minute 45 to go. Look to the sideline to get the play from... Tom Horn and their staff. When you run on that option, Ozzie's got to, uh, Nick's got to start up into that line of scrimmage about three yards past that fullback and start making them make an option in. When they, you don't have a pitch when you string it out that far. Browder rolls to the right side, wants to throw. Now he's going to try to run for the first down. He dives. He's going to get it. I think he got it. Got it across the 35 and out to the 36 and picks up the first down. Big effort by Nick. Big effort by Nick that time. That's the Crusaders' first first down here in the second quarter. They want a timeout here. Crusaders want a timeout. Timeout, Valparaiso with a minute 20 to go here in the first half. We'll keep it right here, and uh, this is a big drive for the Crusaders. They need to get some points up there and get, get some momentum moving back to their side. Well, like I said, even off on a sincere drive, if we, don't get, if we don't get any points on the board right now, we can't let them get a hold of the football down in here someplace and get a field goal and make it 24 to 6. Well, you got uh, the turnovers, as you talked about before the game. It's been the big story of this first half. Two fumbles and a black punt against the Crusaders, and Drake has scored every time they got the every ball. Every time we got the football down there. That's right. You can't turn it over against good football teams. That's why they are good. They, uh, they take advantage of those situations. And Drake is not the kind of team that normally you're going to outscore. They uh, only average giving up. Uh, yeah, what did I do with that? There it is. Team scoring defense. They give up nine points a game on the average. So it's not like that they're used to getting into shootouts. And said 70, yeah, Drake's often just goes 72%, 18 for 20 of the time when it's been inside the 20 yard line. Yeah, I mentioned earlier in the ball game that they had three running backs, and I've been, I'm sorry I said that, too, because they've all been <laughs> playing the ball but doing the job. First and 10 at the 36 for the Crusaders with a minute 20 to go in the first half. We're in the shotgun. Nick goes back, stands in, oh, plenty of time bounces to around, fires it out. Here's got Tolbert. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, if he'd have got that one just a little higher, Tolbert could have had six because he was behind everybody by a good five yards. Nice job by Lee Jai and BB and our Fitzgerald that time. Nick had all day to throw that football, and he found that because the receiver broke late into the middle because he had plenty of time to throw the ball. Pick up a 22 on the play and a first down Crusaders. Browner, ball floats on him. That time it got up on that wind and floated on him as he tried to go to Ozzie. It's going to be second down and 10 at the 42. Okay. Well, that's the problem with throwing it into the wind right there, Coach. That yeah, ball sometimes, right. has, you get the tip of that, uh, the nose of that ball up, up it'll it float on you. Takes it up. Minute six to go in the first half. Crusaders at the Drake 43-yard line trailing 21-6. Henrik goes wide to the right. Ozzie slots on the right side. Tolbert out wide to the left. Shotgun. Browder into a lot of trouble as they came that time from the outside and up the middle, and he couldn't step inside and get anything. Loses back to the 46. So a loss on the play. Well, well, we need a completion here to get it down and get that first down. Field goal would look wonderful before we went in here and make it 21-9. to so A timeout called by the Crusaders. Third down 14, 59 seconds to go here in the first half. Even though we're just across the 50 with 59 to go, I think he's going to consider this being four-down territory. Yeah, you would think so. Trailing yeah. two touchdowns That's before right. halftime, you need to uh, get something going. Plus, you want to get some momentum on your side. They have to want to make that decision right now, so their play call is affected by it. If they got one more to go for it or two more to go for it. Crusaders' offense, which has been so potent on the road this year, has not performed as well here at home, and uh, that continues today. They... Uh, they have scored in the 40s every game on the road. They have yeah. scored 18 points total. They're 24 now after today so far here at home. I don't understand that. 
I know Tom Horn doesn't either. If he could change it, he yeah. certainly would. Take some of those points the from the roof. Who you're playing at home, I know you're playing away. Well, that's probably <laughs> it. <laughs> They've had a good, tough home schedule that's here right. so far. Whitewater, San Diego, and now Drake. No easy ones. Third down, 14. Browder goes back. In trouble, now rolls. Looks for somebody. Okay. He's got it himself. He's at the 40 and still on his All feet right. at the 36-yard line. Good scrambling job. And Nick picks Nick up again. 10 on the play. It's going to be fourth down and four. Yes. Well, he couldn't see him, but on this side, he had Bob Cracknell had broken wide open because nobody picked him up. Unfortunately, there's no way that Nick had time to be looking for anybody at that point. That absolutely eliminates any doubt at all whether you're going to go for it on fourth down. Fourth down and four. Browder sets him down. 29 seconds to crack down, and he is caught and dropped. Somebody, Almost had the ball ripped out of oh, there. Somebody submarine. As number through. 95, Brian Andrews did the job. Somebody submarine, the defensive man submarine. Somebody submarine, the defensive man submarine in there that time and took Nick's feet out underneath him before he could make the handoff. An outstanding defensive job there. So the loss. Gives it back to Drake. And the Crusaders are going to go in down. Two touchdowns unless Drake gets more. And they're just going to come up and take a knee, it looks like. And I'm not sure what the officials are meeting about this time. I think sometimes officials just like to get together. They haven't seen each other for a while, so they think, well, let's have a huddle. I don't know. He's going to go. First down and 10. And Fletcher just takes the knee. Yeah. And unless Let the Crusaders the uh, want to stop it, it, that's going to be it. The first half is going to be over. To stop it. And I don't think the Crusaders want to no. stop anything right at this well, point. So. I thought they might go off and try to throw a couple deep downfield. So San Diego's going to go to San Diego. Drake is going to go to the locker room with a two touchdown lead over the Crusaders. 21-6, the Crusaders scored the first touchdown of the ball game, and since then it's been all Drake, mainly on the ground, and at halftime, Drake will lead it 21-6. Bill and I will be back with our halftime in just a moment. The score at halftime once again, the Drake University Bulldogs 21, Valparaiso University Crusaders 6. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Back we are at halftime where the Valparaiso Crusaders trail the Drake Bulldogs by the score of 21 to 6. Dick Harlan and uh, Bill Cook will be back with us here shortly. Taking a look at the first half statistics for the ball game, uh, Drake leading in most categories, and uh, officially they have 10 first downs to 6 for the Crusaders. Rushing yardage, Drake with 144 yards, the Crusaders 75, passing. Drake with 26 yards, the Crusaders 61. 40 of those, 41 of those came on one play. The first pass thrown by Nick Browder. Total offense the first half, not that much disparity as far as yardage goes. Drake with 170 yards to the Crusaders, 136 yards in the first half. The difference in the ball game has been turnovers. The Crusaders lost two fumbles and had a punt partially blocked, and that set Drake up for touchdowns. They got him, and that's where they uh, lead it here at halftime by the score of 21-6 over Valparaiso. Individually in that first half, Nick Browner, the leading rusher for the Crusaders, 12 carries for 51 yards. Bob Cracknell, five carries for 18 yards in that first half. Um, Nick Bobak, a couple of carries for eight yards. Leading ground gainer for Drake is Charlie Schemberg, he has 16 carries, 77 yards. Right behind him, Jason Grove, 12 carries for 68 yards. So they have two guys that are having big days against the Crusader defense, which has struggled all year. Passing Roy Fletcher, 3 out of 10 for 26 yards. Had one intercepted. Nick Browder, 3 out of 7, 61 yards. Hasn't had any uh, intercepted in the first half. One of the keys to the ball game is the punting game. Drake's Sneller with 39.3 yard average on three punts. Jennings for Valparaiso averaging just 24 and a half yards a punt. 
on his four punts. Three of those came into the wind. And uh, when he had the wind behind him is when he uh, hit the one off the side of his foot that only went about uh, 15 yards or so. So uh, basically, Coach, uh, not much to choose between these two teams except on the scoreboard, 21-6 Drake. They took advantage of three big turnovers, and that's the story of your first half. Unfortunately, because we're saying it all the time, but turnovers is the difference in a ball game. And we turn them over deep in your own territory. Of course, this punting average 24 5. But I think that one pump was blocked. Maybe it was, it was touched. What or about eight yards? Of his foot. Yeah. yeah, I hope it was blocked. Yeah, well, <laughs> then it went up, you know. Then it looked like it was going to take off a little bit, and the wind just caught it and started blowing it back. I'm glad it hit the ground. I remember at St. Joe one year, we were playing down there, and that's a wind field. It's just terrible. On two different occasions I've seen at St. Joe, one happened to us and one happened to them. They punted the ball, the wind caught the ball, blew it back in the end zone, and the other team went back and, and fell on it. Punting from your own 20-yard line and fell on the ball for a touchdown. Hmm. That's the windiest I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Well, 21-6 to six here at halftime. The Drake Bulldogs uh, lead the Valparaiso Crusaders. Time of possession. Uh, Drake's only had it about three and a half minutes uh, longer than the Crusaders have in this first half. Coach, kind of surprising. Seemed like it was more than that, but that was basically the first quarter, I guess. Well, it makes it pretty fitting than what I said before about Aaron Parsegian making a statement that time of possession of the football makes it, doesn't make the difference. It's the number of turnovers that makes the difference in a ball game. Well, the Crusaders back out. The Drake Bulldogs back out. What are the Crusaders going to have to do here in the second half? I don't think their defense can play a, a whole lot better than they have here in the first half. They haven't given up any big plays. They're going to have to find a way to stop the ground game. But their offense is going to have to start moving the football. Yeah, we have to, And I think we're going to have to make a... When we've got the wind at our back this time, we're going to have to make use of our passing game to get ourselves back in when we've got the wind. Uh... Who had the advantage at the, who received the punt, uh, the, the kickoff? kickoff? I forgot already. Well, Crusaders got it. All right, so probably that means that that uh, Drake had their pick, and so they'll probably, it depends it would be interesting to see if they take the ball or choose the wind at this, at this point in the first thing. They'd like to have the ball. If I were Drake, I'd like to have the wind at my back in the fourth quarter yep. rather than here. So we might get the ball again. Although neither team back. has thrown the ball well with the wind at no, their back. Really uh, actually, neither team's thrown the ball well either way they're going, yeah. if you want to look at it. Except for the one pass by Nick to uh, Scott Henrik there one right of off the, the bat. series right at the beginning of the second quarter, we stopped and did. They'd been moving the ball against us on the ground consistently. They got the wind at the back and went to, went to the air, and we were able to stop them in a series of downs because they were throwing rather than running the ball. Well, the Crusaders trail at 21-6. Not unusual for them to be behind at home. They have lost all of the both home games so far this year while winning three on the road. They come in here three and two. Drake four, one and one on the season. But if the Crusaders have any aspirations at all for a high finish in the Pioneer Football League, they're going to have to come back in this ball game. And they have the uh, offense, obviously, to do it. That's right. Well, we're receiving again. Ozzie Young will be dropping back, so the Crusaders going into the wind in the third quarter. Now, this could be an advantage. That yep. means they're going to have it in the fourth quarter. If they can get close, they'll have the wind behind them in that fourth period for kickoff, field keep, goals, or whatever. Yeah, we've got to keep them from putting three yep. touchdowns on the board when they've got the wind at their back. So we're ready to go as the second half gets underway. Michael McKee will kick it off for Drake. Ozzie stands at about the five for the Crusaders. There's the kick. Got to drift down, and Ozzie's going to return. take it at about the three. He comes out to the five. He's to the yes. 10, to the 15, yes. straight up the middle. Right He's got the middle. room. Yes. Breaks the tackle at the 30, and out to the 33, where it's first and 10. Oh, it looked for a minute like he had a big alley to go through up there. Right so, up Ozzie the Young gives the Crusaders pretty good field position to start the second half. Out at the 33-yard line. They did a nice job of closing that off because we had a big alley coming up the middle there for Ozzy. <laughs> Tolbert goes out wide to the left side. Everybody else is in tight. Double I or the I formation for the Crusaders. Ozzy fakes to Ozzy on the outside. He'll get it across the 35 to the 36. And that time they made the option work a little bit better, Coach. Right. He pitched it quicker this time. That's right. you got to make that decision to keep her, uh, pitcher keep 
early in the option. You can't let it spring out as they did it to us over here. Ozzy was a minus four yards rushing in that first half, so he's still in the minus numbers. But he's got to have the football in his hands if the Crusaders' offense is going to move. You look at the good option quarterbacks, and right after they make that fake, it's one, two, three down the line, and they're going to make something happen right at that point on the pitcher keep. Browder on the option, keeps it himself and tries to turn it up, and a great play there by number 41, John Kunstner for the Drake Bulldogs, and he put a hit on Browder at about the 36. 38 yard line pick up a two he did a good job on it too because it looked like Ozzy was going to be he was going to overrun that tackle for a minute and Ozzy had a lot of running room after that Nick Nick yeah that's what I'm saying <laughs> Nick had a lot of running room after that but he did a good job of containing himself third and five big third down for the Crusaders at the 38 yard line trips left Browder wants to throw Fires, got him, Tolbert, and he reversed his direction and might have cost himself the first down. down. Tolbert was close to the first down, and when he stepped back, he cost himself the first down. He's going to be about, well, I'll tell you, this is close, yeah. but I think he's a half yard short. I think, yeah, yeah, he's a little bit short, it looks like. Yeah, he uh, had he just caught the ball and, and turned around. himself forward. <laughs> yeah, just thrown, even thrown himself backwards. That's the key. A good receiver has to know exactly where he's at. When you're going for that first down, he has to know exactly where he's at when he's catching that ball. Well, they're going to stretch it out. It's going to be about six inches short. Yes. Hey, I got one right. I wish I hadn't. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) It's less than six inches. Will the Crusaders go for it? I think if I got a Nick Browder at quarterback, I'm sneaking that sucker. You know. And he's going into the wind. If you have a punt, you, you got a chance of getting a bad punt off into the wind again. But six inches, I don't know if this. Uh, if you're going to gamble, tougher. this might be a good time to do it. As you know, it's a lot tougher to make this decision down there than it is up oh, here, yes. isn't it? <laughs> yes. you better believe it. You're down there looking at your young men. You go, well, let me see now. <laughs> we don't make this. Everybody, they're going to have me by by the I neck by the right morning. <laughs> they're going to go they're for going it. For it. 13.28 to go, third quarter. Crusaders come up. Ozzy, the lone running back. Tolbert right. Henrik left. Right, Browder, straight ahead. Quarterback yeah. sneak dives. He's got the first down. That's the good call. That's the best call to make on a play like this. you got a big quarterback with strong legs. Get low and throw the ball forward. No doubt about it. So he's got the first down after the 43-yard line. And the drive continues for the Crusaders. First down and ten. Well, they'd like a long drive. Take some time off the I score here. I heard with that call ahead I, of time. I'm I, all for you. I went off. I'll uh, I'll witness that. I didn't sit back till <laughs> afterwards and make that decision. I'll verify that if Tom asks. <laughs> First and ten at the 43. Browder gives it off to Cracknell, and Bob tries the right side. He's going to get a yard. That's about it as they uh, short up the middle of that line for Drake. Of course, their rushing defense has been good all year long. That's right. It is not like uh, this is a big surprise that it's tough to run against them. They are tops in the conference in rushing defense, giving up just 92 yards a game. Crusaders up at 83 already. Now you got to go back to that inside. you got to try to get that full base established up in there. But they have been susceptible to the pass to some degree. Browder, there's the pitch to Ozzy and can't quite get around the block as Ozzy spins it up to about the 46. Oh, somebody trying to scream fumble over there. Tolbert had been, uh, went down and really got in the way of Ozzy as he tried to cut the corner there, but he picked up a couple of yards out of it. It's going to be third down and seven. That receiver's got to get downfield and then make that stand-up block and make a threat on him all the time. We've got the pass option coming down there. Another big third down play for the Crusaders. Third and seven at the 46. 11.50 to go. Third quarter, 21-6. Drake on top. Tolbert in motion. Browder goes back. He's got time. Lost yes, it out here. Got, got his Tolbert at the 45 and out of bounds at about the 42-yard line. Had him wide open again. And for some reason, I'm not sure why, Michael Tolbert is just running free out in that secondary. Well, we had a little cross pattern over here when, from a, from a deuce over here, and 
He got himself wide open. And once again, the offensive line did a good job for Nick. He had time to throw plenty of time to find his receiver and throw that football. 13-yard pickup on the play. Tobert goes wide to the right. Hendrick slots right. The eye backfield behind Nick Browder. Gives it off to Ozzie. Off the right oh, side. Nice, Ozzie nice inside the 35, yes. the 30, the 29-yard line. Excellent job. First time right. Ozzie's gone up the middle all day, and he picks up Quall. This is a big drive for the Crusaders. Not only are we moving that football down them on our first possession, but we're moving it against the wind. We're moving it when they keeping the ball out of their hands right now. If we can climax this drive with a touchdown, this could be by far uh, just a tremendous support. Tolbert goes wide to the right side. Henrik wide to the left. The eye backfield with Cracknell and uh, Young. A quick pitch, fake pitch, and gives it a crack now. He might get a yard out of it. That was uh, stacked up pretty quickly. I think we had a little cross-up in the backfield that time. Ozzie was supposed to be out there getting, faking that pitch, and he wasn't moving. So it's second down and 10. No gain on the play for Cracknell. Crusaders trying to get a big drive underway. 10.45 to go in the third quarter. Trailing 21-6. Yeah, they're down to 10 seconds on the play clock. Got to move it a little bit quicker in this, guys. Yeah. Four. Browder sets him down. Ooh, There's the quick pitch to Ozzie. Ozzie cuts it back. Cuts a row. Yes. 25. The 20 oh, the 19-yard line. Way to go. All right. Well, instead of the option now to get it to Ozzie, they're just pitching it to him, Coach, and that right. seems to be working a lot well, better. And the other one they hand it off, too, is get the ball in his hands. They don't always count on that option. They're, they're sitting out there on the option. First down and 10 for the Crusaders at the 19-yard line. So a big drive for the Crusaders as they have moved it. Just come out with the intentional sweep and get it to them now. Tolbert goes wide to the right side. Hendrick goes wide to the left. Cracknell, the only running back. Slot size on the right side this time. As Browder rolls right. Hendrick's wants to throw. Right over the middle, Hendrick. Fires it out here for Ozzy. Oh. And he dives and doesn't come up with it. I thought that was close to an interference. Well, they went to the pass that time and tried to get Ozzy yeah. out in the corner and didn't quite oh. get it to him. Second and ten. But he had Scott Hendricks coming right across the middle from this weak side over here, wide open across the middle. Rodriguez comes in. Ozzy going to leave. He's a fair receiver, too, if I remember right, that Hendricks boy, isn't he? Well, he's the leading receiver on the team. Got the whole front page in uh, yeah. my depth yesterday, Six foot too. four. I think he's second in the conference, isn't he? Something yes. like that. Oh, yeah. Tolbert wide to the right side. Henrik wide to the left. As Browder sets him, Jackson comes in motion. Browder on the option, yes. keeps it this time himself, and he gets it down to about the 15-yard line. Good defensive play that time. Number 31 stayed at home because everybody else had been blown out of there. Matt Miller was there to make the tackle. Pick up a four. It's going to be third and six. Made a good tackle, too. It was a good stick on his part. A long drive by the Crusaders here to start the second half, just exactly what the coach ordered. Nine and a half minutes to go. They've had the ball for five and a half minutes. But they have yet to get something on the board, and that's the key. you got to make it pay. Jackson and uh, Colbert and Rodriguez wide to the right. Henrik wide to the left. Shotgun this time for Browder. Nick, under a lot of pressure from the backside, flags go down. Flags down right now. Must whistle must have blown. I'm glad to see that because he had two people in his face right now. Yeah, he was going to get hurt on that one. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to take a pop. Illegal procedure, Valparaiso. Uh. Well, after a penalty fir filled first half, that's the first one here of the second half. And it's going to cost them five, and it's not where you needed it. No, we don't need it in any place. We did that down here. Just across the 20 where it's third down 11. 9.07 to go. Clock moving, nine minutes. Crusaders have had it for over six minutes here to start the third quarter. They're still in third and 11. They still have not been able to get it in. Ozzie's out here. We're in a shotgun. Browder rolls left. Stands. Fires. Yes, wide open. Touchdown! Yes. 
Michael Tobert was wide open, and Nick Browner threw a strike. Good protection again. Excellent protection from the line. Get him plenty of time to throw that football. Beautiful job. All right. Well, they that had a pick play or something right there that time, Coach, because you can't get that wide open. Well, that whole series down there, too. That whole series, our offensive line has been given Nick excellent protection. A lot of credit to the offensive line. 13 plays, 67 Kudos. yards for the Crusader touchdown. Now the Crusaders have to make a decision to go for two or one. Yeah, well. They're going to go for the two, it looks like, yeah. as number 37, Rodriguez, and number seven, Craig Fenton come in. Tolbert and Henrik come out. Cracknell comes out. So the Crusaders. Some place you got to catch up with the extra two, so you might as well just start. You got to start it right now. Time out. Yeah, the Crusaders are going to have to call time. They don't have the right people out there, and they didn't come out when they had them. So they're running out of clock, and they had to call a timeout. So the Crusaders. Tom Horn not happy. As Tolbert goes back in, and so they're still switching players, trying to yeah. figure out what to do. So obviously they're not. Uh, they're not. Uh, well, you know, they didn't. They hadn't made the decision before they got the touchdown, obviously. And I'm not faulting them. I don't know that I could have made it. But, well, uh, no, somewhere you've got to decide no, what you're going to do. I think you make that up ahead of time. When you're making a drive, you don't have to make it up at that time. You, you can make it up in the locker room. Well, there are. Uh, there is a um, card that's been printed yeah, out by somebody yeah. that tells you when you should go for two. Yeah, they come out with that. And right I'm sure away. they have that somewhere, yeah. although I don't know how many coaches really use it. But Oh, I think they go by it pretty religiously. Now yeah, the Crusaders with 842 to go here in the third quarter trying to, to get a touchdown or get it the extra two and uh, get themselves back within seven. It's 21-12. An impressive 67-yard drive for Valparaiso to open this third quarter. Tolbert goes wide to the right side. Fenton is in as a tight end on the left. Jackson tight end on the right. Cracknell and Rodriguez, the running backs. Browder rolls right. Got him wide open. Cracknell dive. Got it. Oh, he dove across the end. Bob Cracknell with nice the catch job. and the extra two. And there's okay. timeout on the field. 842 to go third quarter. The score now, Drake 21, Valparaiso 14. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. There's the kickoff, taking it about the 19 to the 20, 25, up across the 30, and down at about the 32-yard line. So that's where Drake's going to have it first and 10, and the Crusaders' defense comes out. Knowing now the offense has found a way to move the football, they need to do their job. Well, Drake Fantan has to be impressed with the, how they feel about him on that kickoff. They had three guys give him a roll over on his tummy. First and 10, Drake at the 32-yard line. Wide to the left side goes Hoskins. Wide to the right is Berkeley. The eye backfield with Grove and uh, Schimberg. Well, that's what the Crusaders are going to have to There's flags down everywhere. Somebody's moving. There's, what, four flags out procedure. there. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them. The same... I had to be an illegal procedure. Somebody lined up wrong. They're just waiting for the ball to be snapped to throw those. Say a legal yeah, procedure sure. against Drake. Absolutely. Puts it back at the 27, makes it first down and 15. Well, so far, when you second see all half of them their flag together, you know that they, it had to be something obvious that they could all agree on yep. that quickly. <laughs> well, if you're a coach down on that sideline, you've got to love the way this third quarter has been started yeah. for the Crusaders. Oh, yeah, absolutely. First, that first drive was perfect for us. First and 15, there's the pass, Ooh, and it's tipped two. away, and it complete a great play by Ronnie Cezone as he yes. jumped in front of the receiver and knocked it away just at the last minute. It'll be second and 15. For a brief second, I thought we had a chance to intercept that tip away at the two. Fletcher last year, 20 out of 28 for 276 yards. Today, he is 3 out of 11 for 26, and the Crusaders done a whole lot better job against him. Right, we got second and 15. Fletcher goes back. back he throws it, and is it caught? Did he get his hands under it? It's a short gain. Crusaders saying it was uh, on the ground, but the official Good. says he caught it. I didn't see a signal. There it is. Well, they gave it to him at yeah. the 
31. He picked up four, so it's going to be third and 11. All right. And at least it was a short game. Yeah. Third down, 11, and it's up to the Crusaders' defense right here. Well, if we stop them on this play, it's to be everything that the doctor ordered coming out of the uh, coming out of the half. Now you could block the punt. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You're right. Third and 11 at the 31. We got the specialist in that, too. Ooh, Big time. It's football, yes. and the Crusaders yes. have it at the 24-yard line. Knocked that ball. Look Number 52, Absolutely. Chris Hilton. There's what the doctor unloaded. ordered. There's even what the doctor ordered. Even better. He knocked that ball loose. Absolutely no arm coming forward, without a doubt. That's what the doctor ordered. Now we really have it. Fletcher never Boy. saw Helton coming. He came in from the All backside right. and unloaded, and the Crusaders have it first and 10 at the 24. He unloaded on him, too. Well, if you're a linebacker, you've got to love that situation. He doesn't see you coming, and you just get That's to load right. up. And well, Fletcher. We're on that ball right now. So let's see if the Crusaders can do something with it. The eye formation. Ozzie in motion. Now there's going to be a cross. Browder rolls right. Right over there. Wants to throw. He's got Heinrich, but he doesn't. Now he fires it in complete. Oh, he caught it at the 10. That ball was tipped Still off. on his uh, feet. It is down now all the way back at about the 16-yard line. It was intended for Heinrich. It was through his hands. And somehow Ozzie Young came up with it at about the 11. He lost five after that. Because he wouldn't go down, but it's at the 16-yard line where it's second and two. Yeah, there's the coach's dream come true. The tip drill that you do all the time, the first man tipping the ball up and the second man catching it, it for the ends in, their, in your backs, and paid off that time. Well, if Ozzie had gone down right where he caught it, Coach, he'd have had the first down near the 10. Instead, he lost five yards because <laughs> right. he wouldn't go to the ground. Right. <laughs> Sometimes uh, that second effort's not all that right. good. Second down. Browder, Ozzie hit in the backfield, and down he goes. Is coming off that left side that time, number 90, Brian Peck. He's had a big game so far yes, for, for Drake. Lost back to the... He's been in our backfield as much as our backs have, I think. 17-yard line. Third down and three. Third down and three for the Crusaders. 6.40 to go, third quarter. 21-14, Crusaders have dominated this period without the win. Let's see what they can come up with here. Crack now the only running back behind Browder. They can try to take the reverse. Pass. Browder, Crack now oh, dropped it. Dropped. I think it might have been, inter it, I think it was meant for Jackson, not Crack now, and maybe Crack now should have. Right. Stayed out of it. Jackson was right behind him, but you Jackson. shouldn't have had two guys in that same no. position anyway. Jackson coming from across the field, and Cracknell was slipping out in there. And they got their depths on the pattern. One was probably supposed to be in five, and the other in 15. And they were, and instead of that, they were within five yards of each other. They're going to go for it on fourth yeah. and three from yeah. the 17. 622 to go, right. third quarter. Crusaders with a big fourth down. Well, yeah, I'm not sure a draw wouldn't be a good deal here. There, you know they're going to come. All right. Cracknell and Ozzy behind Nick Browder. Nick goes straight Passes back. Fires it out here oh, for Heinrich, oh. and it's just too far. Heinrich stopped too soon from yep. the sideline from that one. He might have had a shot at it. He kept running a little bit. So Drake stops them, and they're going to take it over first and 10 at the 17-yard line, and now it's up to that Crusader defense again. What do we have here? What have we got? Yeah, they're going to put some time back on the clock. Going to move it down. Well, they say they didn't take eight seconds off, so now they do. It's 6-10. Six minutes, 10 seconds to go. Third quarter, Drake has the football back. That's all right. Take it off right now. Well, it's up to the Crusader defense now. You want to pin them right here, especially when they got the wind behind them. If you can make them kick from down here, at least you're going to get good field position. Right. Let's see what happens. Fletcher sets him down. Got one man behind him. He fakes. Gives it off to Schemberg. He goes the other way and is finally brought down. They closed up the hole on this side over here where he tried. He reversed field and ended up getting a pretty good gain out of it all the way out to about the 24, picked up seven. Boy, he bounced that off and 
bounced it all the way back to the back side and uh, made a seven yards on the play. Second down and three. I like that uh, Chris Helton blitz play again. That was pretty nice. They go to Grove this time, straight ahead, up the middle. He's going to get it up to about the 26. Picks up a couple, going to be short, going to be third, and a long yard. Well, the difference is right now that we have to point out, in the first half, every time they ran that football, the offensive line had won that line of scrimmage. And right now, our defensive line is, is getting that line of scrimmage. It's a big difference. Doing a much, much, much better job than they yes. did in that first half. And whatever changes were made at half to here, come, what is that? That's the sun, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> what the heck happened? Third, long yard. Good job. Stopped That's him. Beautiful job. Coming in there, number 95, John Harrington, Harrington. getting the job. Good he job. dumps him at the big line of scrimmage. It's fourth and one, and what a big, big defensive stand for the you Crusaders. We hadn't stopped him in any short yardage, I believe, at all in the first half. That was a big play by John. John Harrington, number 95, a 6'3", 225-pound junior. What a job he did there to make the big play. Those are sturdy backs, too, and John made an excellent stop on that play. Yeah, let's see if Ozzie can bring it back. Big hit. Sneller back in punt formation. Ozzie Young stands at about his own 30-yard line. Long snap. Gets it away. There's the kick. Pretty good kick. Ozzie takes it at the 26. He's to the 30, 35. Trying to get to the outside, and down he goes at about the 38-yard line. So first and 10 Crusaders at their own 38 in pretty good field position. Jamil Yancey came back that time and made a good kick out on that outside man to give Ozzie a chance to make run that ball back that time. He floated back with him and made a good kick out. Excellent job by Yancey. 4.13 to go in the third quarter. The Crusaders have dominated this period. I don't see that guy in the shorts over there on the other side anymore. <laughs> He was standing up near the top, but I, he's either moved or he's okay. gone to the back of the hotel or he's under a blanket. Probably <laughs> under a blanket. Well, you wonder about them I Iowa know, people anyway, don't you? coach went down here in shorts in a snowstorm. Oh, is that right? First and 10 at the 38. Browder sets him down. The eye backfield. Straight back. He wants to throw. Now he's going to take off. Gets away from one man to the outside. Oh, fumble, fumble the football. football. Drake's got it at the 40. Oh. No. Holy mackerel. Oh. Turtle. Turtle. Fumbled it right oh. to one of the Drake defenders. Just almost like he shuffled into his hand. And it's got to be first and oh. 10 Drake at the 40-yard line. So that Crusader oh. defense that has played so well here in the third quarter is going to have to do it again. Right. And this time will be a little more pressure on him. Now they get the ball with four minutes to go with the wind on our 40-yard line. 21-14, Drake on top. The Crusaders have totally, totally dominated this third quarter. But a big turnover there. That's the fourth of the day. Third fumble given up by the Crusaders. Into the oh, that is such an unfortunate turnover. They all are. Fletcher gives it to Grove straight down the middle. He is stuck by Burning as he fights his way inside the 35 to the 34, maybe the 33. A pickup of about seven on the first play. Well, their two running backs are really strong, Coach. It's they tough really to get them one-on-one, on one, isn't it? That, uh, that's just not the same burning I saw tackling last year. I mentioned that to the defensive coordinator, of course, and he mentioned to me the fact that uh, Scott doesn't get out to practice every night of the week till 5 o'clock, so he misses one full hour of practice. You can't play up to your potential when you only get an hour of practice a night. Second and four at the 34-yard line. Or Drake, Fletcher, Grove, oh, there we, oh. breaks a tackle, breaks another. He's going to have the first down, I believe, inside the 30 to the about the 29-yard line. And the Crusaders had a chance to get him in the backfield and missed right. it. That one time, after that big play, he slipped off of John that time. Put him down at the 30-yard line, and let's see, that's going to be awfully close to the first down. But it's going to be third and less than a yard. Apparently that, well, if that ball's on this side of the line, I guess, and it just, yep. must, I mean, that's got to be a matter of what, what, two inches, an inch it looks like from up here. Well, you would think quarterback sneak here, but maybe not. They give it off to Schemberg, and he's going to have the first down as he gets two, and that's all, but he only needed about six inches. I 
trouble is in the first half, and they give it to him up in there. He ran it in for, from up about out there for 20 to 30 yards for a touchdown. First and so ten that's big for improvement. First and ten for Drake. Their first first down of the third quarter. A quick quarter, 2:38 to go. The Crusaders trailing 21-14. They've dominated this quarter, but a big turnover here. And set Drake up with pretty good field position. Fletcher goes back, wants to throw. Fires over the middle. It is tipped oh. away and almost intercepted. Great play by Saul Shahid to break it up. And then an Ike Enigmo almost oh, got the, turn, the interception. Jab yeah. that baby up in here. Boy, I looked up coming in from over here this time. Uh, Fletcher looked at him coming in from over there. I was hoping I was going to come back and see a yellow flag. Yeah, because he was holding onto his arm all the way back. Second down and 10 at the 28-yard line for the Bulldogs of Drake. And see if Fletcher will go back to the air. He's got wideouts to both sides. Long count. Goes to Grove. Grove trying to get around the end. Harrington's got him to stand him up. John Harrington made the tackle at about the 25-yard line. It's going to be third and seven. There's all the difference in the world in that. And that first half, we had nobody there. And all of a sudden, John's there making a play right now. He's got put in an outstanding half so far. At the 26-yard line, third down and eight. Oh, he's doing it. Okay, we got a difference now. Move him outside, that guy. Make sure you got that outside contained. Third down, eight yards to go. Big third down play here for the Crusader defense. A minute 45 to go, third quarter. Straight back is Fletcher. Looks, looks, fires. It's caught but way short of the first down at the 24. Enigbo has high. Right. Enigbo was part picked of up. them that time. They were, he made an excellent catch to hang on to it because. He only picked uh, up two. Ike was in his back pocket all the way across. So it's got to be fourth they, down and six at the 24. They had to be running in stride. They were so close together. So let's see. Drake's going to go for the field goal. It's Michael McKee, a 5'10", 164-pounder, setting up. This will come from the 31, a 41-yard right, field goal here. attempt. Kick is up. Oh. It is no good. No good. Wide left. Excellent job by the defensive unit. Big, big series by the defensive team. So the Crusaders' defense has uh, done the job again after the turnover. 53 seconds to go in a quarter, and the Crusaders, that just could be the determining factor in this ball game right there. Well, the Crusaders are going to get the wind in the fourth quarter. One thing about that, Coach, though, neither team has been able to use the wind very well. That's right. Well, they've done better against it, yeah. which <laughs> we doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's no. the way it's worked so far. Crusaders will have it out at the 24-yard line, first down and 10. You get it at the line of scrimmage if it's outside the 20. Browder sets them down. Ozzie trying to go off the left side, going to get a yard, and that's it. Well, I'll tell you one thing right now. I'm going to keep that clock running because if I have to punt on this series, I sure would rather be punting with the win than against it. Oh, yeah. Well, inside 40 seconds now, you yeah. wouldn't think that you're going to have to worry about that too much. Yeah. Main things, don't turn it over again. Four left. turnovers against the Crusaders have okay. really hurt them. Yeah. yeah. It would be no factor because if I were Drake and I'd have a chance of it, I'd be thinking of calling the timeout, but there's too much time left now. Browder goes straight back to throw, stands, Ooh, fires, puts up. Oh, He's got screen. the screen pass to Cracknell. Nice Cracknell's oh. got some room up oh, across my. the 30, out to the 32-yard line. So Bob Cracknell picks up seven. It's going to be third down and about two for the Crusaders. And the quarter. And the quarter is over, so three periods are over. The score after three and a good one. Drake 21, Valparaiso 14. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Fourth quarter just about to get underway. Dick Harlan, Bill Cook, 21-14. We got a good one. Valparaiso football, third and two at the 32, about as good a third quarter defensively as the Crusaders have had all year, Coach. Right. That was an excellent job uh, series for the for our defensive unit, Matt. Of course, they weren't on the field as, that much either, and that's what helped by the offense maintaining the ball. 
Browder on the quarterback sneak's going to get it up to the first down for the Crusaders, so well, they continue the drive. Tom can win everything he wants right now. He come off, kept them from scoring during the third quarter. We scored, put a ball, got our two points. I was in one touchdown of the ball game, and now we're starting the quarter with the wind at our back. And no matter what's happened before, that's exactly what you wanted. Heinrich and Tober wide to the left side. Cracknell and Young behind Browder. Nick going back. Stands in. Going to go oh, deep yeah, for oh, Tober oh. and overthrows everybody. Okay. Well, the one bad part about having the wind behind you is the ball has a tendency sometimes to sail on you because it gets such a push from the uh, backside that right. sometimes it's tough to figure out how far to let the ball go. Well, you got to look. I don't think we got to look for that big bomb in there right now to look for that intermediate zone and that don't bring that one man across the middle and bring him back inside. I've seen a lot of openings so far over the middle, 15, 20 yards deep. We're getting Second down and 10. Cracknell, the only running back. Double wideouts to both sides. Browder, draw to Cracknell. He's got some room. Whoa. He gets it across the 35 and out to the 39. Ran right over the top of Ozzie Young, trying to bring a block for him. <laughs> he knocked Ozzie another five yards downfield. I tell you what, Oz, don't get in his way. This kid hit, hits hard in there. Yes, he does. <laughs> It's going to be nice with Bo back back, and he's going to have yep. two good fullbacks up in there right now. You never have too many, do you? No. Third and five at the 39-yard line. A big third down play again for the Crusader offense here in the 14 minutes to go in the ball game. In motion is Tolbert. Browder going straight back. He's got time. Fires for Tolbert. Got him first down at the 45-yard line. Good job on Mike Tolbert's part. One yard beyond that stick. Beautiful job. And it was delivered perfectly by Nick Browder, who got decimated as soon as he let go of that football. But he stood in there with good poise and delivered the rock. Five catches, 66 yards for Michael Tolbert, who the last couple of weeks has started to become a threat. Yeah, they weren't throwing to him at the beginning of the year. He's got size and he's got speed, and uh, well, for whatever reason, earlier in the season, it just seemed like he kind of he was the forgotten man. But uh, the last couple of weeks, they've been finding him, and that's really given him a double People threat over now. over watching Hendricks now, and then go yeah. back to Tobert. Browder rolls right. Stands in. Wants to throw. Oh, yeah. Now he's going to take is. off. He's got and some room at the 45, the 40, the yes. 35-yard line. Nick Browder picks up 20 and a first down for the Crusaders. When Near the 35-yard line. When he gets accelerated and gets that long stride of going, he picks up a lot of yards in a hurry. That's what. That's a big threat to any defensive team. A quarterback mm-hmm. that can both run and, and pass the ball is uh, gives you a, a big dimension to the offense that is out there with a one that can scramble. It's just excellent job. Crusaders have dominated this half of football. Browder goes back. The draw. The Cracknell's got a big opening. He's the 30, the 25, the 20, yeah. the 19-yard okay. line. 16 yards for Bob Cracknell, and all of a sudden the middle of that line is beginning to get open, Coach. Those fullbacks have to remember when they get in that open field, and they don't want to run laterally. Their best course is going. Turn it up toward turn that goal line. Turn it up line. and go That's toward right. that goal line. They're not speed all demons, sudden, or they'd be no, at some other all, place. <laughs> all of a sudden, they can't think of a sudden they became a sprinter. <laughs> they go, <laughs> not we're not used to this. We're, we got people around us when we carry the go football. Go forward. First and ten at the 19-yard line for the Crusaders. Browder goes back, fakes to Rodriguez, now wants to throw. Stands oh, in, has got out. plenty of time. Now he rolls right. Fires yes. for Cracknell, yes. overthrows. And Nick did a good job oh. to get rid of that one. Yes, he did, but he also had plenty of time to throw that ball. Yep. They did a nice job faking it inside that time. Well, that offensive line of Kevin McHale, Michael Beebe, Eric Rodbro, Evan Fitzgerald, Darryl. Mike Elijah, yeah. and Daryl Jackson really They've doing the in. job for the Crusaders here in this second half. Well, both both lines have come. Right, that's true. That's no different. The difference is that both our offense and our defensive line have come to life in this half, and it's a difference in the ball game. In Second. the first half, uh, Gray controlled it, and now we're controlling it. Second down and ten. It all starts up there, doesn't it? Sure does. Right in the trenches. Wide outs to both sides. Rodriguez the wing on the right side. Bobak back in at fullback. They fake, fake. Good job. Lo- oh, oh, they had the screen set up to Bobak, and it was wide open, and wide Nick overthrew open. it. 
Oh, just a little and, touch over. And he had Evan Fitzgerald with him as a blocker. Yes, he he probably would have scored, and Nick just overthrew it just a little. Oh, my goodness. You love having that big frame <laughs> out in front of you. Well, I would. Woo. Yes, <laughs> I would, too. 12 oh. to go in the ball oh. game. Oh, my goodness. 21-14. Yes. Well, it's been a good football game. Hope that you're was... enjoying it. Seven points, I think we could add right there. At least six. Third down and ten at the 19-yard line. Browner rolls, fakes, stands, got time, fires it in here, and throws it low catch. for Jackson. I believe he made the catch, but it's going to be short of the first down at about the yards. 12 or 13-yard line, the tight end, Daryl Jackson. All right, do you go for it or field goal? Well, that's the question, isn't it? <laughs> At the 13. I think they're going to go for it. Fourth down and four at the 13-yard line. Well, the kicking game has been suspect this year. I know. Year. If it wouldn't be for that, I'd say kick the field goal. Absolutely. But had uh, kicked the winner last week. We've been too good. Against yeah, Butler, but they're going to go for it. You didn't have much choice on that one. Yeah. Fourth, <laughs> had to go for it at that stage. Fourth and four at the 13. Yeah. Browder sets them down. The fake. Rolls right, wants to throw. He's in oh. trouble. Oh, Gets away. Fires for the end zone for Heinrich. Oh, touchdown. 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 One unbelievable play. Nick I mean, Browder Nick. to Scott Hendrick for the touchdown. Yes. And Nick had a man on oh, top of my his back. Goodness. I mean, top of his back, grabbing his arms. He shucked him off and then threw the touchdown pass into the end zone. Besides that, it was a fair catch by Hendrick. Had to keep his feet inside, diving up. When he caught the ball, it was out of bounds, his feet in. Unbelievable play by the Crusaders, Nick Browder and Scott Hendrick. Just before Nick threw that ball, the man jumped on his back, mm -hmm. and Nick shucked him off and then stood up and threw the touchdown pass. The kick by Hatton is good. Good. All right. Now 11.50 to go in the game. ball game. We got a tie. It's Valparaiso 21, Drake 21. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Twenty-one, twenty-one, eleven fifty to go in the ball game. I hope you're enjoying this, and we got a good one. All right, we've got to do something now too. This, they've had some good uh, kickoff returns on us so far. They've, I mean, they've got the ball back to the 30, 35, 40 yard line on us. Hall oh, and good kick. All right. Berkeley are deep. Berkeley's oh, going to yes. take it oh, at the goal line. He's going to bring it out. There. Good. He's to the fifteen good to the move. twenty. Yes. Still on his feet. Oh, he's Joe, he's got a lot of room to the outside of the thirty, and down he goes at about the thirty-three yard line. And Cameron Hatton, oh. the kicker, is the guy that had to get him. Yes, I thought we had a shot at getting him back there deep that time. You don't want them kickers making they, tackles. No, they had a little bit of argument <laughs> on who was going to make. Well, you, the Bears would have liked to have Sauerbrunn yeah. made a tackle. That kicker made. First and ten at the thirty-three. He just waved at him like you got a free pass. Go ahead. Matador defense. Well, we're tied at 21. 11 minutes and 41 seconds to go in the ball game. First and 10 at the 33. Fletcher sets him. He's got Schimberg behind him. Gives it off to Schimberg coming off the left side, and he's going to get it a couple of yards out to the 35-yard line. As Eric Miller and uh, Latsky, I believe, come in, make the tackle for the Crusaders. Well, Drake's got to go back to what they were doing best in the first part right now, and I think that's exactly uh, it established their running game again, trying to get going off tackle. But as I said before, we in the second half, it's been a different... We've got two different lines out there offensively and defensively. Harrington, Miller, Culp, now. and Wrench across that front line for the Crusaders have dominated defensively here in the second half. And give it off from the right side of Grove, and he's got a lot of room as he gets it across right. the 45 to the 50-yard line, a 15-yard pickup and a first down. Right. We made a cut it back up inside. Got a lot of yardage that time. We was, I think with our backside linebackers that time. Yeah, 94 yards for Grove, 87 for Schimberg, according to my unofficial stats here in this first half or in this ball game. Nope. It's a pretty good one-two punch. Yes. First and ten at midfield. Crusader defense needs to come up with another stop. They've done the job here so far in the second half. Fletcher. They're in the passing formation. Goes back. Is it off the Grove? Comes okay. back to the middle, and this time he's stacked up as he got about three out of it, maybe four. Yeah. 
Second down and six. Miller and Burning. Ten minutes, 15 seconds to go in the ball game. Crusaders have come back from a 21-6 halftime deficit to tie it at 21. Fletcher. Goes straight back, wants to throw, fires it out here. He's got his man, his tight end, number 84, Ed Jennings. And Jennings has the first First down at the 39. Just got seven out of it, but that's all he needed. Well, that was a spot pass all the way. He made the fake and knew exactly who he was going to throw the ball to. The tight end did a delay block, come over, and got himself in position for a first down. First and 10 at the 39, just inside the 40, actually a little bit short of the 39. 9.45 to go in the ball game. And again, Drake moves it into the wind. Both teams have done better with the wind in their face. Oh, almost intercepted. Oh. Saul Shaheed had it, didn't oh. catch it. Yes. And he feels worse than anybody does. That hit him right in the number. Ooh. Second down and 10. Now the Crusaders are not going to do anything easy this year. That's pretty obvious. That would have been a, uh, a big turnover for us. For the Second ten. down and 10. Nine minutes, 37 seconds to go in the ball game. We're tied at 21. Fletcher, double wide outs to the right, single wide out to the left. One running back behind him. He's going to give it to him. That's Schimberg, and he is... Stacked up, Ronnie Sazone, the first guy to hit him, and then he got a lot of help Big from the job. middle, Rich yes. and Helton and Kulp, everybody in there. there too. And he got bent back pretty good, and he's not up. Yeah, when he got Ooh. bent back like that, Coach, yes. I thought, oh, my goodness, you could hurt a back or something like yes, that he real did. bad, and uh, he's he still did. down. He was hesitating that time. He wasn't running with the authority that he was. It looked like he wanted to pick us all. That wasn't his style in the first half. That means that we're against, once again, that defensive line is getting penetration. Where before that he had all that room to run, and now he doesn't have it. We're going to take a timeout with 9.26 to go in the ball game. The score, Valparaiso 21, Drake 21. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Well, it appears it's an ankle for Charlie Schemberg, who's got 87 yards on 20 carries today, Coach. Their leading ground gainer, he's been a heck of a ball player, and you ain't seen anybody get hurt. But the way he got bent back there, you knew something had to give. Yeah, I think, doesn't he have all their touchdowns today? All three touchdowns, yeah. All three yep. touchdowns. Well, I hope he's not hurt seriously, and he's all set to go at the beginning next week. of next week. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one coming. Yeah. <laughs> Lobi is in at the backfield. There other running back along with Jason Grove. They'll split. Fletcher sets him down. Third down and ten. Big defensive play here for the Crusader defense. Fletcher gives it off to Grove. Cuts it back oh. in. It's going to have a first down and a whole bunch more. 25 oh, no. to the outside of the 20. To the 15. Still down his feet. Down to the 11-yard oh. line. That's the first big play they've hit on us so far this half. That was that off that tackle and cut back across the grain? Lots of room to run. Well, the Crusaders had a chance to stop them there on third and ten instead on a sweep. It cuts it back down to the 11 where it's first down and ten for Drake. A big play with 9.06 to go. Nice to have that kind of depth at running back when Mm -hmm. you lose your best one and the next guy comes in and breaks the Well, Grove's got 126 yards today, so it's not like he hadn't had a good day. Right, well. Right. Oh. Well, now the officials are talking over something here. I'm not sure what that is. They're going to put uh, something about the clock. They want some more time on the clock or plus six. Yeah, so it's at 9-12. Okay. First and 10 at the 11. The Crusaders need a big turnover here. I wonder which official down there knows that six seconds is off and on each time. (laughs) Hand off to Lobby, and he's oh, yeah. got a couple of yards off the left side. To about the eight. Okay, but look out. They're setting that roll out. Second they haven't done that yet. And, boy, that looked wide open that time. Grove comes back in the ball game for... Fake that off tackle and roll back Drake. over to that strong side. 
Grove's had a big day. Jason Grove, a 6'1", 195-pound freshman. We're going to have to look at him again for another three years. They'll set him down. Fletcher sets him down. Second down and seven at the 8-yard line. Rolls right. There's Grove to the outside. Cuts it back in. And did he get in? Apparently, he's going to be stopped at about the one. But that could be a first down. It is a first down. First down and goal to goal at the one for Drake. Well, the Crusaders have dominated this second half, but Drake has finally put together a drive. Just when they need it. What we need right now is a turnover. Pop Some that kind of a ball turnover. loose, yep. grab an arm, knock it loose. First Tackle and that goal. Football. Make something happen. First and goal at the one. There it is. Boom. Rabbi, Labai for the touchdown. So Lobai takes it off the right side for the touchdown, and Drake is back on top. 27 to 21 now, and the extra point becomes very big. Ten yep. plays, 67 yards. Got one big play on there, third and long, and he breaks that off tackle for the 25, 30 yard run. Or the key in that drive. McGee on to try the extra point kick. Well, block would be nice here, wouldn't it? Yes. Slip, fumble, any of that stuff. Bad snap. <laughs> There's the snap down. The kick is up, and it is good. So there's timeout on the field, 7.58 to go in the ballgame. The score now, Drake 28, Valparaiso 21. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Seven fifty-eight to go in the ballgame. Crusaders trailing now, 28-21. Plenty of time. This game is not over by any means. No, we don't have to go to the air throwing the football just indiscriminately right now. We can play our regular well, short short kick. Short kick. Get away. Somebody's got to get it. It's now Drake got it. It's a free ball, and Fanton came up and didn't catch it. Flag goes down. Now, Fanton did signal fair catch. Fair, no, it'll be and they did not let him have a chance to catch right. it, so it may be a penalty against Drake. We'll see. Interfered with the catch. Fanton did put up the fair, fair catch right. signal and uh, therefore has yeah. to be allowed to catch the ball. Right. The Drake player dove in there and caught it. Yep, that's what it's going to be yards. interference. Right. He dove in and caught it. Where are they lucky he got that arm up because he really yes. didn't make much of an no. attempt to get it, did he? No. No, he didn't. No, I was going to say, too, I thought he backed away. Yeah. But he did because the kid was diving for the ball. But he did put his hand up. Yeah. I did see that. And so the yes, fair catch... Did. Signal means that he has to be given a chance to catch it, and you've got to stay three yards away until he does touch the football. Right. So the Crusaders are going to get that plus the five-yard penalty. That puts it at the 47, first and 10. Okay. Or is that a break? All right, there's a break. That's like a turnover. But in the future, right there. for future reference, Craig, catch it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. First down and 10. At the 47-yard line, 7.58 to go. Browder sets him. Goes back, fakes. Looks, got plenty of time. There's going to be a hold call. There's a five, throws it across to Jackson, makes the catch. But it's going to be a, a holding call, I believe, back there by the quarterback. He calls that on Ozzie. I was watching that. Ozzie made the fake, come back and threw a block I thought it was on, on 69. Guy. Oh, was it okay? Cause I, I was think on the other guy, yeah. Okay, because Ozzy did a good job. There was no holding there. I'm not sure. I didn't really see it either, but he threw it right in the foot of Mark Elijah, so oh, I think that's probably where it okay. came from. It was near him. The bad part is that comes from the spot of the foul, so they've oh, already yeah. lost 10, and they're going to lose another Boy, 10. Unfortunate. So that's oh, like a 20-yard oh. penalty the way it works oh. out. Look at this. Mm-hmm. We got position on the 40. Seven yard line. We're back at the 28. It's a 19 yard penalty in essence. Oh. It's going to be first and 29. Here you go again. That's tragic. We've been in this position once today. Let's see. Back uh, back in the second quarter, they had a, a situation like this where they were like second and 22, third and 27. Makes it a little tough on your that offense. Is really costly. Man, well, you just a, try to get part of it here. Severe penalty. 
Browder goes yeah. back. He's got plenty of time. Now from the back side, he's caught and dropped. Back at the 25-yard line. The other just couldn't keep him out of forever. Sooner or later, they're going to get there. Yeah, Nick couldn't find the receiver. Slid right off the block of Kevin behind him. So it's going to be second down at about 32 from the 25. Seven minutes to go in the ball game. 28-21 Drake. It's been a good, tough, hard-fought ball game here today. Well, Hendrick and Young wide left. Tolbert wide to the right. Browder goes straight back. Stands, fires. He's got Hendrick. Up at about the 35. Let's see where they're going to get it. Well, they, they mark him back there. They didn't give him all he should have got. No. He made the catch at about the 35. They, yeah. He was pushed back to the 32, well, but that's where they're going to give it. I can't understand that, Mark. That's, oh, here, there's a move. Oh, now they now. moved it back up. Yeah. All right, that's all right. better. Yeah. This guy came over and made the mark for him. Because he was pushed back. He didn't yeah. run back. No. He runs back himself, and then loses the yards. Third okay. and 23. So, Browder goes back, wants to throw, stands in, has got to find one, just oh. starts to throw, the ball no, is loose, no they're going to say incomplete pass. Incomplete, his arm was coming and forward. And he was trying to go to Henrik deep, yeah. the arm was coming forward, so it goes incomplete. Right. So Val Fraser is going to have to kick it away, and then it's going to have to be turned over to the defense to do the stopping, to give you a chance to get that offense back out there again. Yeah, no doubt about it. <clears throat> Could see, I could see the tackle coming on him. Yep. He was going to catch it, but his arm was coming forward. Fourth down, 23 at the 34, 6.07 to go. That's well, back on the defense again. That was an unfortunate series, and it all really hinged from the point that above the holding call, we stopped ourselves. Good kick Good by kick. Jennings. Yes. Left it. Oh, he yes. fumbled the football. Now Get picks him. it up. Get out of oh, Still on no, his feet as he on. tries to go around the right side. He's got some room at the 30. Oh. And down he goes at about the 31 or 2, and they had a chance to get him way like deep. 15. Nobody got there. Yeah, I thought so, too. We should have had him on the 15-yard line. Jennings was maybe out. They got that one to float and might have out uh, kicked his coverage. Oh. First and 10 at the 31-yard line. That was a big, big kick. Well, it's up to the defense now. You need a turnover, but... You certainly got to have a stop. 5:53 to go. There's still plenty of time if they can make a stop in here. You don't want to. You got to start watching the clock here. Fletcher sets him down at the 31-yard line. Goes back. Handoff. Oh, Grove, quickly. and he is hit yeah. by Culp, and down he goes. Culp was in the back for you last time with a big stop. Matt Culp throws him for a loss of a yard on the play. Second down, 11. Yes. He didn't go anywhere after Matt took a hold of him that time. Grove with 132 yards on the day unofficially, 21 carries. Hit him with authority. Five minutes, 29 seconds, clock moving. Well, we had a lot. In the ball game. Looks like we got a passing portion. formation coming up here. A lot of players come in here. Wide to the left All side goes Hoskins too. and Haying. Berkeley out wide to the right. Oh, fumble. fumble the football. Got B.U.'s it. got it. B.U.'s got it. There you go. Yes, sir, on the 29-yard line. The Crusaders there. have recovered it. There. I believe it might have been uh, the freshman, John Wrench, that might have come up with that oh, one. But right. at any rate, the Crusaders have it at about the 29-yard line. That came as a mix-up in their backfield there That's somehow. happened a couple of times for them today yeah, for whatever right. reason. I don't know what it was. They went up with Seven games into the year, you wouldn't think you'd be having quarterback center problems, no. would you? First and ten at the 29 for the Crusaders, trailing by a touchdown. Well, Final six to go. We've had a lot of turnovers in this ball Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> Crusaders well, have had four, and uh, Drake now has had three, I believe. Isn't yeah. It? Browder. Straight back. Wants to throw. Looking for Tolbert. Now looks over the middle. Fires it out here. Heinrich caught yes. What a catch. A diving nice. catch by Scott Heinrich at the 12-yard line. Boy, can this guy catch it or not? Yes, and that was... That ball was tipped. That ball was tipped by a defensive man. I thought for a minute we, were, we might have an interception. Well, if if it's not tipped, it's probably a touchdown he because Heinrich wouldn't have had it deflected. Dive, yeah, dove into the ground. He's got great concentration to the ball. He keeps that 
Yes. Well, that's what the great receivers yep. have. Yeah, last year they had Holick and Fanolio, and Heinrich yeah. was kind of overlooked. But now the people are finding out what he can do, too. First and 10 at the 12. Browder. Goes back. Wants oh, to get no. it to crack now. And now it pulls it away from him. And Nick oh. tries to throw the ball. Oh, it does. It goes. It's an incompleted grounding. pass. Now oh, he flag. Just threw the flag. We're going to oh. get an intentional uh, grounding. Well, I'll call. tell you what. I agree it was. Yeah. But it certainly was not any more than the one we didn't get in the first half. That's right. Now he throws it. Oh, boy. So the intentional grounding. Loses your yardage plus you lose the down. We so have it's not be second had down. good success with that particular play. That's where we fake that draw and come yep. back on it. And we've had trouble with that all day. So that puts it back to the 20, 28 yard line. Oh. Uh. Second and 26. Hmm. And in fact, that's a 16-yard penalty. Yes. Because it's uh, five yards from the spot of the foul, plus you lose the down. It's still second down, though. It can't be third down. They got third up on the thing, but it's second. They're going to make sure about that. The officials have to have another meeting. It's very simple. It was first down, now it's second. Now they got it right, second down and 26. What a costly. Well, it's a big turnover, but you can't let it bother you at this point. You just got to go get get it back. And this is crunch time for the Crusaders, 4.36 to go in the ball game, trailing by seven. Shotgun, Browder, rolls right. Got plenty of time, looks for somebody. He's got him wide open in the middle. It's Jack oh, Holy mackerel, geez. if he hadn't have gone to his... Knee. knee, he'd have had another 10 yards. Yeah. There was nobody near him. Yeah. Of course, we could see that. Darrell really couldn't. Yeah. He's got a spot at it at the 18. He picked up 10. I'd like to see him get that big body rumbling towards the goal line, too. <laughs> Third down, 16. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, I'll tell you, Darrell had that one. I mean, yeah. he was wide open. There was nobody even close. He could have turned and got that big body that's propelling out there. It'd be hard to stop Third down, 16 at the 18-yard line for the Crusaders. Browder rolls right, looks, plenty of time. Now fires into a crowd. Well, it looked to me like if he could have stopped, he'd have been able to make a throw back right. there, but he kept rolling to the sideline and lost his sight line. Actually, he had plenty of time. He he, he actually ran outside of his protection. Mm-hmm. They had great protection for him time. Then they had this guy blocked out, and he ran outside of it. So now it's fourth down 16 in the big play for the Crusaders. they got to get to the two to get a first down. Fourth down, 16 yards to go at the 18. He was scrambling that time where he didn't need to scramble. Yeah. Well, that happens sometimes, unfortunately. Yeah, sure. Got Cracknell and Young in uh, with Nick in the backfield in the fourth down play. They go back. Stands in, he's got time, now he's going to have to run. Rolls left. Got plenty of time, stands in there, backs out, now fires oh. it for Heinrich for Tolbert, it. touchdown! Oh, he dropped it. He was out of bounds. He was over the oh. end line. Oh, I saw Michael Tolbert was over the end line. There are flags down. I think we got a, a receiver downfield anyway. Probably. Uh, I'm sure we had at least one receiver, Nick, illegal receiver Nick downfield, run, and they did. Nick had run over the line of scrimmage and dropped back off the line of scrimmage so he could throw the ball. Yeah. So Drake will take over. That will be that is called an incompleted pass because Tolbert bought, caught it above, uh, past the end line. Oh, that would have been an outstanding play. So it goes down as an incompleted Jeez. pass, and Drake takes over first and ten at the 18-yard line, and it's up to the defense. They need three and out right here, 3:37 to go in the ball game. Because Drake will be kicking into the wind if the Crusaders can yes. stuff him. So they should get field, good field position if they can stop him right here. Drake, on the other hand, just looking for a couple of first downs. Oh, you got to gamble now. you got to come up defensively. you got to play it tight. Gamble that they're not going to throw the football. Well, I'd be getting my uh, helmet it. on that 34, I think. Yes. <laughs> and I'd be ganging up over by 977. Right. Fletcher sets the, him the down. This goes to there Grove. There he goes around the corner again. He's got some room. And he gets it across okay. the 20 and out to about the 22 or 23. A good, fairly good pickup on the play, about four or five yards. Let's see where they're going to spot it. 
at the 23. At the 22, pick up a four. All right. Second down and six. Well, the Crusaders the need to come up now and do something. That's right. They got to make something happen. They got to gamble. That they're not going to throw the ball. They got to get up in there tight. Berkeley goes wide to the left. Hoskins goes wide they're to the right. To blitz somebody. Try to get somebody in the backfield. Low by the only Create running back turnover. behind Fletcher. Create a turnover. And he Boom. got there it. it. And Boom. All right. He is Good. caught and dropped. All right, now it's a big third down it's play. Third and four. All right. Now it's a big third down play. Well, it's up to the Crusader defense now to have give their offense a chance with 2.36 to go. Here's what the other offensive coach is saying. Now, do I throw the football? <laughs> well, 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 you know they're soft. Uh, if I were him right now, I'd run that ball. He's got. He's had pretty good luck with it today. They picked up 213 yards on the ground and today. hasn't been very effective with the pass. That, no, that's true. Six out of 16 for 39 yards. Grove is back in there. Third and three. A big one here. Fletcher to there Grove. There he goes oh, on the right side, down. and he's not going to get there. No way. The Crusader defense comes up big again off that left side. Clock's ticking down past two minutes now. Everybody kind of slow getting up. They've got to mark it at about the 27. A yard short, it's going to be fourth and one. And now Frazier wants timeout. Timeout on the field, a minute 49 to go in the ball game. It's Drake 28, Valparaiso 21. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Well, he missed the punt. It was a good punt by Sneller, and as he returns it to the 36, but there's a flag down back at the 31. It's going to be holding against Valparaiso. Oh. Mm. That's really going to hurt. Man, alive. So the Crusaders are going to have a long way to go from about the 21. 79 yards they need to travel to get this thing so they have a chance to win or tie. A minute 41 to go. Well, I'd like to know who he called that on. Well, I'm not sure. 31 yard line. It was the other guy that was back there with Ozzy. Uh, That's Jamil Yancey. Yeah, I think it was Yancey 21. I was, watching, right? I was watching him on the block, and it looked to me I was just going to give yeah. him credit for executing a, a, a beautiful block. Again. Yeah, that's where they threw it, right there. Yeah, I, I, thought he, I thought he made a good block, too. I, I can't see how he saw a holding on that. Well, it's up to the Crusaders, 79 yards, a minute 41 to go, trailing 28-21. That's what it's going to take. Browder into the shotgun. Goes back. Stands, fires out here. Oh, oh Henrik had it. Oh. Looked like that maybe number two might have had him by the arm, Kerman Mason. Yeah, I do too. But he no call by. there. He got by with one that time. Looked like he might have had yeah. him by the left he, arm, by the right arm, but at any rate. The, but yeah, as he caught the ball, he had him by the arm. Pretty good shot by uh, Browder. He put it right there. It was Second down and ten. Well, you don't need to go 79 yards in one play. You need to go 10 at a time. you got time That's to right. do that. Oh, yeah. Minute 37 to go in the ball game. Browder back in the shotgun again. Here's the snap. He's going to take off and run it up the middle. He's over the 26 out to the 30. Almost the 30-yard line as Browder just took it straight up the middle. Hurry it up, man. Come on. The get quarterback up. draw, but you need to get up and get to the line of scrimmage, guys. Let's get go. Get out of there. Let's go. Line up. Pick up of eight, make it third and two at the 29. Two-minute drill. Too many people getting signals here. Come on. And at 10 to go in the ball game. Browder back in the shotgun again. Nick rolls right. Wants to throw. Fires it out here for Tolbert. What a shot. And Tolbert makes the catch at the 41-yard line. A great pass from Browder to Tolbert. He made the catch with the man on his back. First and 10 at the 41-yard line for the Crusaders. They come to the line of scrimmage. They're trying to get up there now. It's Colbert with his sixth catch of the day. Inside a minute. Bad snap, and Drowder comes up with it. Goes back. He's got time. Now steps inside, rolls left. Nick's yes. going to take off. Go got a lot of room. Wants to go to the out of bounds and does it. Cuts it back to the 45 and down to the, the 43. All right, line up. you got the clock stopped. 16 right, yards on the play for Browder. 
First down and 10 at the Drake 43 yard line. 40 seconds. He is exciting, isn't he? Yes, Rod Rodriguez in there at tight end now, too, is it? Browder rolls right, wants to throw, looks at her, fires for Hobart. Tobert got him out of bounds at about the 32 right. yard line. All right, moving right down the field. Oh, 28 seconds. Another first down. Well, we're going to be down to, we're going to have to make that decision here shortly, Coach, the way things are moving. Do you go for the win or the tie? Well, we I always like them to go for the win, but if you don't make it, you say, why didn't you just kick it? Go for it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that touchdown first. Yeah, got to get the score first. First and 10 at the 32, 28 seconds. Crusaders. I get another 10. Trying to get it in. Can throw four for the end zone. Browder goes back, rolls right. Looks, looks, fires. He's got Heinrich. At about the 27-yard line, a Get good up catch. That ball. Stop but the only clock. a five-yard gain Stop the on clock. the play. Stop the clock. Second down and five, and now oh. Nick calls timeout Jeez, with 11 you seconds. Called it before. Nick calls time with just 11 Why, seconds wait. to go in the ball game, and we will keep it right here. Why wait so long to make the call of that timeout? The timeout should have been called on the catch if you're going to make it. Oh, my. you got to make that call right away. 11 seconds to go in the ball game. I second and five at the 27. throw the ball down. Well, you only got 11 seconds for one thing, yeah. Coach. And, uh, That's what I mean. But but are going to get about, what, three plays in here? 18 seconds. We lost seven seconds yep. before we made the call of the yep. timeout. Yep. If you're going to make the timeout, you got to make it, it right, right now. you got to know we're ahead of time. If you don't make it, you're going to call a timeout right now. Well, you got 11 seconds. you got time for maybe three plays. Yeah. You go for the end zone right away, or you try to get the, go to the outside well, twice and uh, then go to the end zone? You know, uh, I don't know if you got three plays here. Uh, this depends on what you're running. Yeah. I, I, I think on the safe side, he's got to figure he's got two plays at best. 11 seconds to go. The Crusaders only had a minute and 40 when they got the football. Actually, it was less than that, down to a minute and... Uh, I think the first one you go for the square out, and then if you can, and then maybe try to flip two into the end zone. Yeah, they like uh, last week against Butler, they went to Heinrich in the corner, made a great diving yeah. catch, but they said he was out of bounds and his feet didn't get inside. Fade up. So they might go there, but let's see what they come up with. If you go from the end zone here, you're going to take a lot of time off of that clock. Yep. Plus you make it. <laughs> then it's perfect. <laughs> It's all depending on the result of the play, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> all the rest of that analysis doesn't count. Doesn't it all depends on the result. It goes to the end zone. It was the right play to call. Right. 11 seconds left in the ball game. Valparaiso trailing 28-21. Trying to get their selves tied up here. Browder goes back. He's got time. He's got time. Now he's in trouble. Browder running. Needs to throw it, finally oh. fires it away, and goes incomplete with three seconds to go. They're going to get one more play. Well, the worst part that could have happened is there where he had to scramble I, around like this. I would, yeah. You, now you got to go in the end zone on this play no matter what. Frankly, I was hoping that you didn't call him an intentional grounding on that one. <laughs> See, there's three seconds. Now you got to go for the end zone. Yeah, well, this is it. Three seconds to go. The Crusaders, this play will go in the end zone. Rodriguez yeah. comes in. Yeah. So whatever happens, they're going to throw it in the end zone, you would think. And Drake be. knows that. They have 15 guys back near the goal line. Yeah, this might be the collection. Put three receivers over there in yeah. the alley-oop. But... They have everybody back near the goal line because all the Crusaders can do is try to get it in. It Throws is. it for Heinrich. Oh. Alley-oop it. And it is oh. incomplete, but it's over. The game is over. As Drake intercepted it, but out of bounds on the last play of the ball game, and a great battle comes to an end with Drake surviving the Valparaiso Crusaders this afternoon by the score of 28 to 21. The Crusaders still have not won a game at home this year. They dominated the second half of this ball game, but came up empty, and they lose to Drake by the score of 28 21. Coach, now I'll be back to take a look at the ball game and what happened and. Try to analyze as best we can the wild one. The final score once again, Drake 28, Valparaiso 21. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football.
Back we are, Dick Harlan, Bill Cook. Well, the Crusaders come up empty again, Coach, 28-21. They have now lost three at home, won three on the road, an exciting ball game. And when you look at the statistics and all that, it was total domination of the Crusaders in the second half, but just too many mistakes when it came down when it counted. The, uh, yeah, the holding penalties, we killed ourselves, particularly with that one holding penalty when we had possession of that football on the 40-yard line and then would we lose, lose 20-some yards yep. on with the penalty yep. and throw us back? A lot of holding penalties called on uh, both teams today, and which I have to account for, like I said, perhaps in the beginning, that uh, different officiating team who calls them that another team had contact with before because uh, both teams had a lot of the, of the penalties. What? But the difference in the ball game uh, all day long. In the first half, the Drake dominated the ball game, offense and defensive lines. And in the second half, Falpo came out and dominated the offense and defensive lines. Totally different ball game. I, uh, even though we lost the ball game, much pleased with the defense. Did some, did an outstanding job at some crucial times today. Back down in here when they got the uh, Drake got the ball just before the halftime, and they were deep in their own territory, and we stopped them, and they didn't even get a field goal out of it. it was a big, big. Big change for our defense. Give them a chance, I think, went in the halftime feeling that they could do the job and come out the second half and follow through with it. Well, they held Drake to 262 yards on the day, 46 passing, 216 running, but they held him to less than 100 yards in the second half, and I think that shows what you're talking about, the improvement of that defense. Certainly one of their better defensive efforts, even though they still gave up 28 points. And uh, offensively, we scored 21 points on the team. It's been averaging only nine, nine. points scored against yep. them all year. So uh, uh, a good job. Uh, Well-played game on both sides. Uh, a great game for the fans to watch. Seven turnovers, four against VU, three against Drake, and that really uh, made it an interesting ball game. But Drake comes out with the win, 28-21. We'll be back to wrap it up in a moment. You're watching Mount Fraser Crusader football. Well, back we are, Dick Harlan, Bill Cook, 28-21. The Drake Bulldogs over the Valparaiso Crusaders this afternoon as the Crusaders lose their third game of the year. They're now 3-3, three 1-2 and three, one and two in the conference. The interesting part of that, I guess, Coach, as we've talked about before, the Crusaders have lost all three at home and won all three on the road. Next week they get Evansville here, a team they obviously should be able to beat. They need to get a home victory. Yep, <clears throat> absolutely. I feel... Next week is going to be our first home victory. I, I think defense and uh, the whole team came into their own in the second half by the tight ball game that we played. I'm so much encouraged by the play of our offense and defensive line coming back into the second half. And I'm sure that despite the, despite the loss, which has got to be a, a very disheartening for the team, still they have a lot, a lot of positive things to look forward to coming back for next week's ball game. Well, the Crusaders uh, came up with 379 yards of total offense today. Uh, Browder had a big day, threw for 202 yards, ran for 103. But the uh, the story comes down to the turnovers and some key penalties against the Crusaders. They uh, turned it over four times today, three fumbles and a blocked punt that was partially blocked in Dayton or Dayton, uh, Drake took advantage of those opportunities, and that's what good football teams do. When you give them a chance to, uh, to have the short field, they take advantage. That's right. And they, they, they were very proud of their average in their news releases coming into the ball game for obvious reasons, and uh, they, they stayed with it today. They, when they got in the red zone, they put points on the board. Well, Coach and I will be back to wrap it up All right after we take this time out. The final again is Drake 28, Valparaiso 21. You're watching Valparaiso Crusader football. Back we are, Dick Harlan, Bill Cook. Coach, we had a lot of fun this afternoon, but unfortunately the Crusaders come up a little bit short, and uh, I know it's got to be... Uh, Disheartening. These kind of games really maybe take it out of you more than when you get blown out, I suppose, uh, because this is a game that I'm sure Coach Tom Horn and his staff thinks we should have won. Yeah, no doubt about it. But as I mentioned before, I think the positives are even going to mm -hmm. weigh the negatives in the part of it. The fact that isn't though we played a good first half and come back and fell apart in the second half. 
It's just the opposite. We came back and played it. Played, did everything about we needed to do except put that last touchdown on the board. And I thought we had a shot at that. You know that play down there at the end where Nick was scrambling, came back behind the line of scrimmage, threw it in. Scott Hendricks makes a beautiful catch at the yep. end zone, and they call him it's out on it. That, that would have been an outstanding play. Uh, that would have been a definitely when you want to show back in the highlights. Well, it was, a, it was a tough one today. Valparaiso loses to Drake 28-21. Next week, Coach and I will have the Evansville Aces in town to take on VU. Hope you'll join us for that here on uh, cable television. Uh, today's game presented in part by the Sports Shop. The Foul Ball, South Lake Dodge Nissan, R.W. Bayard and Company, Valparaiso Physician and Surgery Clinic, Real Ford, University Book Center, Co-op Car Care, Buck Suzuki and Yamaha, Tudor Fashion Floors, Valparaiso Physician and Surgery Clinic, Valparaiso Orthopedic Clinic, Job Placement Services, Take One Video, Downtown Valparaiso Business Association, Indiana 105, Advertising, Marketing, and Promotions, and Porter Memorial Hospital. Hope you enjoyed it. The final once again, Drake 28, Valparaiso 21. Till next time, Dick Harlan for Bill Cook. Have a good day, everybody. Thank you.